and welcome to the Computer Game Show. My name's David Turner. I'm here with Matt Murray. Hello. James Farley. Hello. And he's back, Sean Bell. <coughs> oh, <yeah. coughs> I forgot you were on last week. Don't do that, that mate. Um, That's fucking disgusting. Sort yourself out. Yeah, sorry. Have you, um, yeah, it's have you fucking, your hand? fucking ill again, man. I, I, I think I'm... I don't know. I think my immune system's just fucked or something. No, oh, she's. But what? How old's um, Isaac now? He's two and a bit. Right. So he's just like a. He's. I mean, he's, he's covered like a in germs. Magnet for illness. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, no, yeah, he's, yeah, he's not yeah, ill yeah. that often, but yeah, when he gets it, we all do, and the whole household collapses for a bit. No, I was mainly just pissed off because it was all it was was a fucking cold. But then on the oh, <laughs> yeah, interesting. Yeah, no, but um, you still couldn't. Okay. Yeah, yeah, couldn't okay. Um No, it was just that Monday. Um, it just felt like someone was like, do you, you know, when you get a cold and it goes to your ears, do you get that? Yeah, I hate yeah, that. Yeah, it was like yeah, yeah, someone yeah. was like just poking my ear with a fucking knife. Um, it did make me so, laugh though when you said I can't do the show tonight. Yeah, lads, I am I'm done. Yeah. And Matt went, okay, yeah, should we cancel your stream tomorrow night? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> do the stream. I mean, that was a, a low-energy stream. I don't know if you saw any of it. it <laughs> I watched it. Oh, I watched it, boy. Um, we'd like to thank our Patreon producers for this month, the full Nels crew. Uh, we have quite a, quite a crowd this, this month. Uh, Alan M. Nash, Aaron Patrick, Simon Nelson, Anthony Oakenson, Tom S, and a new full Nels, Toby Henry. Welcome to the crew. Welcome to the elite. If you would like to support us on Patreon, uh, please go to www.patreon.com forward slash TCGS. And we should probably go through the tiers quickly because if you get five, if you pay five dollars a month, right, you get the bonus show. Is that correct? Yeah, you get you get a monthly right. um, Patreon podcast. You can't get anywhere else. You can only get it on Patreon. We've done like oh, a... Can I just say... You can probably torrent it. It's probably on uh, Pirate Bay or whatever. <laughs> if, you've oh, not, definitely. If, if you've not got a... Pay, if you've not signed up to Patreon, don't worry. Like, I'm not going like, to go mental at you. Although we will bloody <laughs> stop. We'll <laughs> stop if you don't do it. <laughs> but well, uh, can I just say, the Christmas episode of the bonus show this, this uh, month... It, it contains one of the most insane <laughs> revelations I've ever heard from a single human being. I've thought about it non-stop since we recorded, and I cannot believe... It's something about Sean Bell. It just revealed it. We won't reveal it on the show because it's for the Patreon people, but I, I was like... It was so bad that I demanded he got his wife on the on the mic, not on the show. This is, this is after we recorded, to ask her what she thought of it. And she sort of just accepted it. And then I called my wife into the front room and went, listen to this. You know that new sound you've been listening, looking for? Well, listen to this. She couldn't believe it. It was fucking insane. And the best part um, is it wasn't like a, a dirty secret. It's something that is as mystifying to me as it is to anyone else. Well, that's it. We've spoken about it before. It's like one of those things. It's like, well, what, what can you do? Like, mm. I, you just, you know, that, you know, that's yeah. the situation mm. you're in. You can't change it. It's not your fault. <laughs> but also, it's the most insane thing <laughs> of all time. Uh, but anyway, enough, enough uh, beating around the bush with that. Um, mm. Yeah. Also, if you sign up for that five dollar tier on uh, Patreon, then you also get all of the bonus shows we've done. So it's well worth doing. Um, the ten dollar tier gets you early access to our talks over videos. So there's various different options there. Of course. You should probably go full Nels, but I mean, <laughs> there are other options for you. Um, before we get onto the main feedback, Sean, I assume you've done your your yeah, duty yeah, yeah. as the member that wasn't on the show last week, and you've yeah. taken notes. Yeah. Let's hear them. Uh, I mean, not a huge amount. Um, it was yeah, it's a good show. The only thing is, I was going to point Cheers. out um, is, you know, you're talking about Poker Stars, and you're saying it'd be good if there was like that for like other board games and stuff. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. That is a, a thing, a tabletop simulator on Steam. Um, it's like, I think it, initially it was just like mouse and keyboard, but it, yeah, it's like a big, you know, it, like you can download all different games for it and stuff. But yeah, that, they added a, a VR mode to that, which is probably quite good fun. I wonder um, how well that works. Because one of the be- beautiful things about PokerStars VR, because hmm. there are other poker games on, yeah. on the Quest, yeah, yeah. they're just shit. Yeah. Like, they're rubbish. It's. <laughs> 
how well it does everything that game so if it's up to that standard then yeah fucking hell that must be a right laugh and i, I had a few people tweet me actually saying mm-hmm. oh my god you know we have board game nights um mm. and they're always a struggle they always get cancelled because someone can't make it or we can't find a place to do it or whatever mm. that would solve all our issues and it really does yeah. like yeah, yeah. you feel like an idiot with this fucking headset on or whatever but <laughs> That that goes away in about five minutes, and you're all just cracking up at the weird shit you're doing in VR. So yeah, it's, it's good. It's yeah, yeah, good. Yeah. Cool. Um, I mean, the the slippers stuff. Jesus Christ! I nearly passed out in the car <laughs> listening to that. Uh, although I would I like to. I cla- we got feedback on that from our w- listeners, right? <laughs> I would like to clarify: not slippers, man. Um, I've never. I don't know. Never. Just never found any that I'm that I'm into. I I had some slippers, but then David yeah. shamed me, and I stopped wearing them. <laughs> what? What's wrong with them? When did I show? This don't you remember when we got the when I got the switch like when it first came out and I recorded a, a short video showing me unboxing it to oh, send I to you that. Yeah, and then you you saw my slippers and you were like what on earth are they and <laughs> I stopped wearing them after that. What are those? What 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 were they? Were they like old they just like, school like, like old, men, ones, old men's one? I think was the thing. You you just oh, weren't they were the one with like the furry bits in the middle. Like, yeah yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> inside, <laughs> like, oh my god! Right okay, I had every right to do that. Yeah. Uh, I stand I stand by that, even though I do like a slipper. James, you can't control um, you in your own house. You, you're your own man. No, I, I did feel embarrassed because they do look terrible. Why are you getting involved? Who the fuck are you? Some sort of the, motivational cause, speaker? Because that's just like well, like, you know. Chilly feet because some idiot two hundred miles away is like moaning at his old mouse slippers. Nothing wrong with old mouse slippers. Idiot. Some Plus, idiot. If, any, if that anyone you owe just... your podcasting life to Matthew, show some respect. <laughs> I think I've done Go more than enough since then, thank you. Well, because Matt's just like, if anyone took the piss out of his slippers, they only last him another two weeks. So exactly. It doesn't matter, yeah. does it? Yeah, it's a very quick turnaround. It's fine. I, um, I, I might actually email one of his um, uh, like one of his influencers that he follows and say, oh, just say slippers are great. Because then suddenly Matt would just be on some mad slipper thing. No, no, I know slippers are great. I slipper. just haven't found ones which are brilliant. Actually, the, the ones that have sort of been in the back of my mind for a long time, the, it looks like a sort of a... In inverted commas, cool brand, but they're 90 quid. Um, <laughs> oh, and, don't spend and, 90 no, I, pound I, I, on I, I, slippers. I, I, they begin with M. They're always advertised on Facebook because, I mean, I guess if advertised to me because they know I, I like a slipper. But it's like 90 quid. But... Get them from Primark. They're about I, I, three I, I pounds. Get, I, and they're falling <laughs> through the Primark one. I mean, for M&S, next Primark, God It's knows. literally one through the entire stock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> have, you, have you ever considered that actually, Matt, Maybe it's not the slippers that are the problem here. I can't, can't change and my feet. it might feet. be something to do with you. <laughs> yeah, but oh, you're, no, 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 got... it definitely. I, I, my feet do all sorts of crazy shit. <laughs> really? Like what? Wow. Like what? <laughs> well, I'm constantly sort of rolling my toes. And this is why, like, when I play Sekiro, like, on the Monday, my feet are absolutely killing me because... How many, my how feet many pairs doing, do you go okay, through? We can't go street. through this again. This is just an odyssey. Exactly. <laughs> we've, we've, we've had, basically, my feet are doing all sorts of shit constantly. What my toes are. My feet are probably fine. Should we... Anything else, Sean? Uh, yeah, I was just going to say the only other bit um, I found slightly weird was everyone getting strangely coy about the leaking the uh, death of the head of, head of state question. I thought that was a really funny question, and everyone just I, I didn't I, want to go I don't near know what it. it well, I think it was because we all slightly <laughs> misunderstood it in the first place. Yeah, and then it kind of the way we were talking about it, it felt like someone was going to go, "Who do you want to be dead?" Like, it wasn't bothered at all. Yeah, yeah but just, you know, too, just, in your just heads pick, about a, pick a bastard. Just go for, like, oh, just King Jong un or something. <laughs> Gives a shit. I guess, yeah. I guess, yeah. I mean, and not only that, for some reason, in my head, it was someone in video games. So that's what made okay. it like, do I say Shigeru Miyamoto here? Because that's weird i don't uh yeah no it's um yeah I, I think that was just like a miscommunication more than anything else yeah fair dude uh but no yeah no, right, it, was, okay. it was a great show loved it well it wasn't you, just you that loved it last week it was the listeners right matt the listeners loved uh, it absolutely adam staff uh, will start off his uh, message all right chaps just before i buy a res ticket can you confirm if matt is going to be giving away two to three hundred pounds <laughs> worth of t-shirts again <laughs> I mean, the thought has crossed my mind. I need to restock, really, because I've got nothing. <laughs> uh, that video is now up. If you search Kane and Rince on uh, YouTube, and I would never be, uh, <laughs> I'd never be plugging this unless it meant that you got to see me win a prize, a golden joypad, no less. And um, if you search uh, Kane and Rince on YouTube, you can watch that whole thing, including Matt chucking oh, I need to watch that. T-shirts. Yeah, yeah, I think if that got uploaded on a Friday or something when I was out, and I like started watching. It, I thought, no, I'm in a pub, but what am I? This is ridiculous. <laughs> so I need to go back and watch that because I want to see uh, me chuck T-shirts. Your <laughs> failure. <laughs> 
yeah, no, I saw the I saw the bit. I saw the bit. More entertaining than you know, not thinking about myself, thinking about the audience, and I think they loved it. So, I saw the bit where I turned to you and go, "Should I walk you off the stage?" And my word, you weren't joking when you said at the time it felt like you were joking when you went no, but. When you look at your face when I ask you that, you were <laughs> David, not David, joking. David, it's, called, it's called acting, mate. Look it up. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't act in your left. Yeah, right, it's okay, go on. The stage. It's on the video. You can see nice. it. Next. Next. Thomas Armland for 42. Interesting during the VR. Wait, who were you acting for? If that was acting, who were you acting the for? Audience. Because it wasn't on mic. The audience. No one heard me say it. No, but I, someone might have... Anyway, it, wor- it, it, it worked. Thomas at <laughs> okay. Lama for 42. I, I, I asked you off mic, should I walk you off stage? And you said no in a really grumpy way. And you're saying that you did that for the audience. Yes, because you didn't hear I was the question doing, in the first place. I was doing lots place. of exaggerated facial expressions. Okay. I thought okay, the mic Matt. could have quite caught it. And there's hey, hot look. mics everywhere. Hey, if you want to say it's acting, let's say it's acting. That's fine. It's acting. Go on. Thomas okay. Lumpur, 42 again. Interesting during the VR chat. No one mentioned Labo VR. Okay, but if anyone... I think we did, but I'll carry on. I'm surprised Microsoft never tried a low-cost scenario using mobile phones. Even if it has some token integration with their console games, I feel it's a mistake to ignore VR entirely. James or Sean, didn't you guys mention Labo? Yeah, or was I, that... I, I, you, I mean, the reason is because it's rubbish. Like, in terms of... Yeah. You know, it's not something... That's you know that I think that Microsoft want to pursue because it's, no, no, it's no, very no, but low quality. In terms of mentioning on the show, did you mention that conversation? Yeah, yeah. Or was that off air? We no, we mentioned Labo VR. I'm sure. In fact, I'm sure we even said it in that conversation. Yeah, I, I think we did. I mean, anyway, let's just say we did. I say we. we I wasn't we there. Did. But, yeah, we, I will say this though: an essential part of VR and what people seem just as impressed. Like, yeah, you put the VR headset on, you look around. You know, that's impressive. But what people seem to really connect with is the movement of the hands. Like when you're using, say, the Quest controllers or whatever, that's what blows people's mind. Like that combined with the visual stuff is a real, I don't know, that seems really important. And with a lot of the mobile phone stuff, you don't get that, do you? No. No. And it's cool in many ways that there is sort of like, you know, very cheap uh, ways to get into VR, things like Google Cardboard. Um, And then, you know, there's actually quite a lot of different tiers of VR headset you can get. You can get involved in yes. order up to things like um, Valve Index, but I, I mean, I, I would say you know the, the bigger you go, like the more um, the more sort of uh, uh, well, basically the more impressive the experience is, um, and that definitely comes with visuals and and controls. So it, it, arguably, it's it's, a, it's different types of VR. I and mean, PSVR is great considering the basic technology it uses, but it still doesn't really fully compare to things like room, full room scale PC VR. Um, so there's, is, there's, there's, Matt, there's various levels. The, is Google Cardboard still going, or have they canned it yet? I mean, I, I don't know because they've been daydream, haven't they? Yeah, but, yeah. but it, it was basically like cardboard. that. That was one of the things they said. You know, it, it's here, and people have been doing whatever they want with it. Whereas <laughs> it was daydream. That was like a properly launched conference, yeah, press conference launched initiative, which are then mm. you know killed. So I think cardboard is just actually to be perfectly honest with you, I think that's almost like built into like the APIs now for each of the operating systems. So uh, I think you're right, yeah, yeah. Oh no, it's, I just uh, had okay. a look. No, it's they're not. It's not being pushed anymore. The yeah, they're not pushing, but it's yeah, still no, available. Yeah, but they, they, they need to. to. Yeah, yeah, they did what yeah. they need to do with that. And so they, were, they said homes. following declining interest in cardboard, they moved it into like Google Daydream. That was the, the next thing. Oh, yeah. right, okay. Then what happens yeah. next? <laughs> Falling on their way. Uh, Fascination yeah, still going cool. strong, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, Fascination tweet on Twitter. Haven't heard much about the Bitter Nest of late. Hope it hasn't been cancelled. Any update on Bitter Nest, uh, James? Uh, hold on. We're not going to reveal all our secrets, are we? We're not going to tell them about the Bitter I mean, Nest yet. All we can say is it, it will be featuring on a next-gen platform um, yeah, at some point. Wow, okay, Which one? right. This is news. I mean... Reset era go get mental when I hear this. This is, <laughs> this is insane. What about Stadia exclusive? Oh, it's Valve Index exclusive, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> We're not making a VR game. No, we <laughs> be here. Right, go on. Uh, Thea and Alan, you lot should play Sea of Thieves again. Um, although she said Sea of Thrives. <laughs> Thrives. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh, although maybe that could be in a Google document or whatever. Uh, the campaign stuff I added is properly brilliant. Also, don't stream Zero Escape. It's not a good stream game. Lots of text. So yeah, this is um, the other thing. I, so I went to speak then, and then my mouth didn't work. Fives. I was just going to say one week off, and he's forgotten how to how to pod. Um, Matt, stop, stop streaming Sekiro. Fuck it, bin it off. What? Why? Because oh, it's, it's clearly making you miserable. Just no, get I had Super a great Metroid time on, on Sunday. 
fuck's uh, sake. Which was right. yesterday. Yeah. Right. No, you didn't. I did. No, you I didn't. I, I watched for a large part of that, and it was you huffing and just going, oh, I'm never going to do this. <laughs> fuck I this. No, I, 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 I was way more confident yesterday. I was loving it. I beat that one boss. Did you hear that last week? Did you see what I was like saying last week, Sean, when yeah. he said... I, you know, after I finish this boss, I'm not even going to get the satisfaction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I said, well, why are you playing it then? You know, for the satisfaction. Yeah. <laughs> but you just said that you're not going to get that, Matt. No, but I will get it. Uh, but, I you have know, I, I, will, I find it embarrassing. I, um, it's just, uh, mate, I just have a, have a few weeks off, have a break, and then no, 2020, I, I actually, 2020, Super actually, Metroid, the, um, do it. Just before I got on here tonight, I played it, and I basically could have been Genichiro. Um, but but uh, but I I didn't do that death blow. I didn't. didn't want to do it off stream. <laughs> do you know, Matt? Okay, Sean's right. You you really should have played Metroid because it's like it's. <laughs> I don't know why you didn't because it's one of the best games ever made, and it's It'd like, be so good been, when you stream that man. You could have been yeah, having well, such I mean, a good there's time. There's still time, James. It's, it's not this or nothing. Metroid mm. will come. But yeah, I, I basically I was playing um, against Genichiro, and I I basically could have killed him. I had like the death blow to to end him. But I, I just decided not to because it, was, it wasn't on stream. So I'm going to get it done um, whenever I stream next. Uh, yeah, I mean, but because I killed I Lady like Butterfly, I got an extra bit of like, attack power. And it's made, oh, oh, my I, God. That must have been... Hor- whoa. That must have been horrific. So you were playing this off stream and essentially beat the boss that you've been trying to beat for God knows how long. <laughs> and then you had to stop. <laughs> just close the game. Yeah, yeah. It- well, yeah I'll put a video on Twitter, yeah. <laughs> oh, well. Okay. But um, fuck it. Yeah, no, I, basically, I played it again like last night, and like I got like the third phase like four out of five times. I've basically since killing that boss last night, I've got to the third phase more than I have in the last like three or four weeks. So um, I'm surprised you're alright with playing it off stream. I thought like a big part of your stream was that everyone got to see you like progress and stuff. Well, no, I, he's done I, that before, t- typically he? yes, but I think with this one, I've been like, okay, I, let's just try a bit off stream. And and honestly, I mean, I, I want to stream now, like this second, just to get this mm. thing done because uh, I'm, the point. I'm obviously very, very sort of, uh, I'm very close. So uh, streaming again. How many more bosses have you got to go after this one? I think I think I'm only on the second or third. <laughs> Oh, oh fucking hell! For fuck's sake, Matt, give it up. Why? I'm Suck enjoying it. it. Well, well, I'm gonna get this guy done, and I'll push on. This is apparently the hardest boss in the game, or one of. Oh, <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Jesus. No, keep, I mean, I, I, yeah, I'm gonna push on. Uh, once I get this guy done, I'll be like, let's fucking go. I'm looking forward I, to this I, I, your I, game of the year list, Matt. Let's <laughs> <laughs> not spoil uh, anything back now. To... James. Uh, Athene's tweet. I, I, I know we always say this. I would really love to do like a Sea of Thieves stream at some point. The four yeah, of us. fucking bang up for that. That yeah. and Overcooked too. Yeah, Why man. do we keep saying let's do it do you know and never do it? The it. other thing yeah. that we never did, which we should, is that Star yeah. Trek one we were going to do in yes, VR. Yes, man. Because that would have been really good. Yeah. yeah, I'd like to watch that. Yeah. 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 Okay, cool. Next. Um, Wrecked Reese uh, on Twitter. Dave just blew my mind talking about VR. I've been struggling to justify buying a PS4 and PSVR just to pay a loan. But playing tabletop games with my mates in VR would save months of planning slash delaying game nights and miles of driving to meet up. Great shout. I mean, there are tons of good PSVR like VR, uh, yeah, PSVR multiplayer games. Is that Sports yeah. Bar VR? There's probably others I, I can't think of right now. The but, one um, with the werewolves. I've forgotten the full yeah, name. Yeah, yeah, Werewolves Within. That's one. That's Star one, yeah. Trek. We just mentioned. Star Trek. Yep. There's probably loads, loads since I last loads. <laughs> Yeah, well, there's probably loads since I last checked, but yeah, those yeah, no, at no, least no, yeah. get involved. Please. So that's it for feedback. It's at Computer Game Pod on Twitter. Or you can email podcast at thecomputergameshow.com. Cool. All right. Well, um, of course, we all know that this episode is quite a big one. We've got our um, our draft coming up, um, but we we should probably get news on what you've been playing out of the way first. So let's do that, shall we? Should we go to James's news? Yeah, we could do the news. I mean, I'll be honest, it's rubbish <laughs> news this week. Don't like, force this up. Well, it's, it's always I mean, going to be quiet this time of year, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. James, I, I'm amazed you've got any news because every podcast I listen to, like, well, there's no news. Let's just skip it and talk about what we've been playing up. So the fact you've got any news at all, I mean, it's already better than every other podcast I listen to this week. So wait, wait until you've heard it. It's um, it's <laughs> it's it's really not good. I mean, the first one is about this is about Sony. You've had to pull like a PlayStation Four promo video because they've been accused of ripping off like animations like in it. So, what would you mean? Well, what this was was this was, this was a PlayStation Four lineup music video called the Winter Mix or something, and it was supposed to like showcase all of Sony's games. 
and then it had like accompanying music and like animations and stuff. But then mm-hmm. it turns out that the video it, they've said it to private now, so you can't you can't really see it. Although obviously people have kept like copies of it. And there's this French animation site have like created a comparison video showing like the scale of the theft in terms that like there's there's rips from like stuff that's on the Cartoon Network, anime and other things. But then also the worst thing is like. Oh my they've God. ripped stuff from like from students that have like been working on things, and then wow. it's exactly this the same. Is, this is like the IGN thing, yeah, right? It's pretty much the same. Yeah. And <laughs> I mean, as Eurogamer, I mean Eurogamer said that they don't think that this is really Sony's fault. It's it's actually the director who did this. And... I was say yeah, they they paid someone to do a promo video, and yeah. unbeknownst to them, they yeah, the person yeah, they paid. Yeah, it's not it's the director, to... but it'll be the agency, whoever, who's in charge of doing this video. Yeah. Yeah, well, it's, who, it's who, what, what? the director's the one who's in trouble because it, also people. It, this guy's called Kevin Bauer and he's a Canadian director, and he's won a bunch of awards. But then people have now been looking back at other of his work and have found more animation. Oh, oh God, shit. it's exactly oh, like God. that. Then, yeah, it's, and um, actually, his real name is Philip Moosin. Is yeah. that what you're saying? <laughs> Wait, can I just can I just say though before you continue, what do you mean nicked animations? Like what? Okay, how? Is it they're copies? As in, like it's obviously they've yeah, but re- they've just copies recreated. Are, they've like, been redrawn, but it's yeah. as if they've worked from the exact same storyboards. Yeah. Or whatever. so they've, they've just like... like sort of traced over the original animations with different characters. Well, yeah, just copied it. Like as in, it's the yeah. the animation is pretty it's much basically identical. replicated exactly yeah. what yeah, they've done. Yeah, yeah, they've like literally like copied see... and pasted it, but they've obviously just gone like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. just redraw that. <laughs> yeah, basically. like it's it's like when you see um, <clears throat> what do you call it? Yeah, have you ever seen those compilation videos of? Um, Disney films that reuse animation from other Disney films. Yeah. Oh no, I haven't. That like, oh, it's though. absolutely fascinating. Yeah. Like, really famous scenes that are, are shot by shot, exactly the same, but with different, very well known right. like Disney characters in in their place. And of course, it's they're all their own work. So yeah, you know, yeah. they're all, it, it, but it's just really, really good to watch because it's like, holy fuck, <laughs> yes, that they, they are moving in exactly the same way. <laughs> this is mental. And um, yeah, look that up on YouTube. Well, but yeah, I mean, it sounds like it's exactly the same, yeah. but doing it with someone else's work rather than your own. Yeah, like. it's it's completely the same as this. And it's like now, like as I said, the video's gone private. He's been kicked out of like some other club that he was involved with or whatever that he so he's you know not doing that anymore and that's it. What do you mean the other club? Well, no, he was, other club? No, no, he was he was like um like slated to do some work or whatever, and now that's been terminated, like some contract or whatever. Yeah, he's he's so, not in scouts okay. anymore. That's yeah. that. That's uh-huh. that. <laughs> out the window. I wouldn't, I wouldn't describe that as a club. Yeah. Employment in a club, then really okay. But that's that. So yeah, that's that's bad. Um, next one is that uh, Microsoft. It is. I mean, and the silver lining story, is though, that obviously fair. as a result of this story coming out, like all the students and stuff that have been ripped off are now. Like have now had a spotlight put on them, which is yeah. cool, but obviously that's not the intent of the, well, that, <laughs> the guy that was who ripped what, everything off. That so. was one of the no, tweets. No. Like somebody was like, "Oh, thanks for the exposure," you know, <laughs> you know, like for highlighting my work. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's which like... is long running joke yeah. anyway. Yeah. 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 Anyway, um, so yeah, okay. Okay. Do you remember a while ago there was the whole thing about how there was going to be two <laughs> Xbox models, like two new ones uh, for the next gen. Yep. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. And how this yeah, was yeah. then like debunked, and people said, "No, no, that's not happening now." That the cheap one's been cancelled and everything. It turns out that that's that. probably not true. And so, okay. what yeah, this is because I don't remember. It. You don't remember? Were you, were you not on the show when that was going on, Dave? I don't think you were. I don't actually. remember. Probably not. Yeah. Uh, so what it was was there was. I re- didn't listen either because who gives a fuck? Yeah. There you go. Go on. I mean, originally there was supposed they were Microsoft. They were talking about how Microsoft were going to have two new models for the next gen. There was going to be a higher powered version that was called Anaconda, and then a cheaper like discless one, which was going to be called Lockhart. And then it was speculated that this was not happening anymore and that the Anaconda one was the only one and that was Scarlet. Yeah, that's what it was going to be. But now, according to some sources that have spoken to Kotaku, it's still in development, like the cheaper one. And the difference is going to be, it will be like the same sort of difference there is between the X and the S. And yeah, it will. And yeah. apparently like Lockhart's going to have about the same power as a PS4 Pro. But with like a solid state hard drive and probably like a, you know, a better CPU, obviously. Oh but in general, really? about that about That's that awful. level. And what it will be is that Anaconda will do like 4K, whilst Lockhart will only be at like 1440p. Like that's the the plan. And uh, yeah, so okay. this is basically. Lockhart, is this the first time? Is this the first time we've seen a company 
launch a console? If this happens, of course, it's all rumours, but would this be the first time that we've seen a a company launch a next-gen console that is less powerful than their current-gen console? (laughs) Um, I don't... Well, no, because it might be about... I mean, I'd imagine it's probably about the same as, like, uh, the the X or whatever, you know, around that sort of level. You just said that's... No, no, but you said the same as the PS4 Pro. Yeah, in terms of like resolution, so like it won't be full 4K, like because the X is full 4K, isn't it? Oh, right. So the games will still look better than they do on the. Like, yeah. Still more powerful than the Pro, but it's yes in terms of the out- yeah the video output. Okay, it won't. Yeah, it won't be quite as good. But I mean, so the whole. I mean, the the discless one they've already done that, didn't they? They did the all digital version of the S, and that's they what did? this seems yeah. to be. I mean, to me, this seems like quite a good idea in that they'll release this probably at a cheaper price and it'll be billed as like this is the Game Pass machine or whatever that, you know, it doesn't do everything, but yeah, yeah. it's yeah. you know, it's the cheaper way to get into the next generation or whatever. I don't see this as a bad idea. It seems quite good to me. Nor do I, but I don't think they'll do it they'll launch them at the same time. You know, I can't so. see that happening. I mean yeah, you, no, you they'll get want to use the first at least the first few <laughs> months to like capture those people that want day one you know, I don't know. Matt they, they did this with the 360, though, didn't they? Like in the sense that they released two versions of that, like one that was better oh, than the come other. Come on, that was totally different. That that was totally different. Well, only because the, the only difference space. between those two was hard drive size. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That, that, I, that was. A, I that think was a I've got a couple of things, but one, I, th- I think them doing multiple SKUs makes sense because not everyone is going to want it or can afford to uh, pay like Absolutely. 400 quid, 500 quid, whatever this new console is going to be. It makes not sense everyone's say, got a 4K tally either. Yeah, like, well, yeah, that that well. Well. It, it makes yep. sense to have like two different SKUs, one ultra powerful, one, one uh, yeah, a, a cheaper model for people who still want to get involved and stuff. But what totally I think agree. doesn't really make sense is that. If it, uh, why not say this is also 4K, but it's just discless and it's like cheaper in yeah. some other way? So by saying it's 40 and 40p, it's like that's. It, I feel like it's going to confuse matters somewhat. I mean, I've so I've got um one X and I play it upstairs in my office where I've got a 1440p monitor and there is like a there's a definite difference playing on 1440p versus 1080p, but mm. it like it just seems a bit like a, a bit confusing. Make it. I mean, I don't know how, but you know, like it's maybe, no maybe... different than the Switch, is it? And the Switch Lite, what's the difference there? There is. You none. just think, oh well, just make sure the Switch Lite can be plugged into a TV. Like, it's the, yeah. you're saying the same thing, really, aren't you? I, I guess. I, I just think like, it's made a little confusing. If there's like a smaller 4K one, that's I don't know. It's got it's got some other differences other than just a disc drive. But um, but but you know, I saw, I, if things it feels a bit confusing to me. But them having multiple SKUs makes absolute sense. Mm. Absolute sense. It does. I just don't think day one it makes sense. Because you've got those people that sort of sit on the fence. They want the new console, but, you know, they're not too sure. Then they're more likely to go for the cheaper model. You might as well exactly, just yeah. go with the one SKU to launch with. And then they're more likely to well, go... I, well, no, no, I, no, I, I right. think you're totally right. Like, yeah, some do. people are like, I do want, I want, you know, to play these games better than the current machines or maybe it's be cheaper or whatever, you know. But um, but I'm not going to pay 400 quid for the for the Xbox Scarlet. Yeah. Oh, but I'll, I'll pay, you know, the, less money for this yeah, for sure. But, yeah, but... But they might. That's what I'm saying. But they might if it's the only option. But, mm. uh, but, uh, but I think actually, well, I think the day will probably show. I mean, I haven't seen it, but I'm fairly sure they'll say, look, but it, people either have the money or don't. And some people will push, like the early adopters and other people who are like really desperate. But for the, for most people, for the vast majority of customers, that they're not going to say, well, I haven't got 400 quid, but I'll find it just to get this. They'll say, oh, but it's a cheap one. I'll get that. And if yeah. for that, the See, you know the hardcore yeah, but they or the can do that a few months they, later, they want the ultra ultra no, powerful it's, best machine babe, I, they... So it's a bit okay. It's like Apple. Like they release like an iPhone and then like an iPhone Pro. Like now, how is this any different? You know, you you offer people the chance but to they, go. I for mean, a... they don't always though. What, what do you mean? They've been doing this for the last couple of years now. Would the ten the ten R come out? No, the ten R come out. About three months after the the pro, like the sort of high end model. That's only because it wasn't ready. That's not for like market. That was just not marketing stuff, was it? I don't know. I, I I think this is kind. Of, they release phones every year. Yeah. And this is like a new gen after seven years. Yeah. I think off, offering a a cheaper option right alongside it would I, I i don't see the benefit of doing that well, no, no, I, when I they think... can release that three months later three or four months later get the people that are on the fence about it to go for the higher end model. No, yeah. the, 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 the people are going to be able to push from like cheaper to more expensive whereas i know they've got a shillers people playing game pass they might have got new customers who bought a ball i mean uh, the xbox one they S can play that digital... on the xbox one yeah but they you know they, they might want like a new fancy machine i don't know I, I just exactly. feel like 
I feel like it makes absolute sense to have a much lower uh, price point, discless, a Game Pass machine. People have bought like tons of Xbox all digital versions over Black Friday. I think it's like the biggest selling console over Black Friday weekend. Um, I won't say, I'm not saying I'm not saying they won't do it. <laughs> I'd just be surprised if they would. Like it, it, it makes more sense to me to get that higher machine, like the higher price model out there first. Um, also, make it a little bit more special. You know what I mean? It's you're paying a premium for this, like, see, more better specs Xbox. You want, you know. See, I don't. I, the reason weird. I don't agree is because I reckon that they want to hit this generation, like, and get as many people into it as quickly as possible. Because especially after you know, this, I think that's bad. a good point. Yeah, and I think if you get people in. It doesn't because they don't care. I I don't think they really care about the hardware that much anyway. This is all about getting people into the services, isn't it? And yeah, you, yeah, you, you can right. do that yeah. as quickly as possible by having cheaper hardware. Like just get as many people in as possible, and that's why I reckon yeah, they'll just they'll like do the this. lowest barrier to entry <laughs> yeah. is what they want. They want make more money, more money doing that. Just draw draw a line. I'd, under I'd be the... surprised if they did it at the same time. Yeah. Um. But we'll see. We'll see. We we won't know. Well, wouldn't it be we more of a kick in the, you kick guys in the dick if like they did it three months later? Everyone who's like bought like Scarlet's for say four or five hundred quid, and something like, oh, it's a cheaper one now. It's fourteen forty p. It'll be pulling an uproar if that happened. I don't know if they'd be an uproar. Yeah, because I, I, I just spent four hundred quid. I, I would have been happy with fourteen forty p. Yeah, but for, only. for a worse box. Like I, I don't know if they'd be an uproar about. Yeah, it. I think the the people because that wouldn't happen without there being rumours, and I think people would. People who've still made the choice to get the more expensive one on launch would still be like, "Oh yeah, but I had it on launch, and I've got the better one, so whatever." I think people would be willing to convince themselves that it's not a problem. I think, or even if they let people know that it's coming, but it's coming at a later yeah, date, yeah. like I mean, you know, that's again, that's kind of what Apple have done in the past. It's, I don't know, it'd be interesting. I mean, I can't wait to see which way both companies and you know eventually nintendo are going to go uh over the next like five or six years it's going to be it's going to be a really interesting this, generation yeah because this is still uncharted territory right because we've had obviously we've had hardware revisions like part way through but it's always been it's you know smaller it's factor, or faster it? like yeah. it's always been an improvement whereas now we're seeing you know like with the switch light and stuff we're seeing and you know the xbox one s versus the x there's this thing of like well it's cheaper and it's not as good but it might be more suitable for you and your situation and that's kind yep. of new that's and that's interesting so yeah so well, this also, could be the first generation where yeah that's just that's the deal straight out the gate so yeah, i mean the other thing that came out today yeah. is that sony have said that they're expecting the ps5 is going to be like around for about five to six years and then there'll be another like mid-generation console will come out which is, I mean, that's an odd thing to I'd, say. I'd, but, surprised, you know. I'd be surprised if they wait five to six years. Yeah. I think it'll be sooner than that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, same here. And also, probably don't mention that now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wait, exactly. That's just what I said. wait a little bit. Yeah. Don't just. Or come maybe out this with is the whole now. point. They're like, ah, oh, that's ages off, mate. You don't need to worry about that. You just spend spend yeah. five hundred quid now on PS Five. It's really good. No, that's the, also that's a different situation, isn't it, James? Because they're saying yeah. we're releasing a better console a few years later. It's different from saying we're releasing a cheaper. Not as good console a little bit later. I, I I see that as different things, but yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, okay, okay. So cool. next story is about uh, this is about Firewatch. You know the um, okay. So, mm. this, so no, okay. no, not Firewatch. No, it's about Campo Santo, um, who were working on Valley of the Gods. I mean, do you remember we saw because we saw the trailer for this, didn't we? Was it E3? They they yeah, showed E3. this. Was it E3? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looked really good. It did look really good. And oh no, no, sorry, it was a video game awards in 2017. Was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember I, I blocked that event out. It's um, <laughs> just one of the things I'm quite pleased about this year is because the video game awards are this Saturday, aren't they? Yeah, yeah but isn't it are like really? two in the morning or something? Yeah, yeah. they're yeah. like two in the morning on this Saturday, and we're doing the game of the year show like the day afterwards, and then there's going to be no opportunity for us to talk about the game of the uh, what's called the game of the year awards. <laughs> I'm really pleased about that because it means that I've got to watch it. It's um, it's quite good. So anyway, aside okay. from that. I- Okay. <laughs> I don't know, what, what, why are you? What, why would you not want to talk about this? About ten new game reveals and all sorts. Oh, because the show's garbage, Matt. That's why I don't want to talk about it. Anyway, I love it when James does that. <laughs> it's garbage. <laughs> it's some garbage. Yeah. But you can talk about the track. announcements, not the show. Oh, I don't. Want, I don't want to talk about like Jeff Keighley. You know, Hideo Kojima. Again, and you don't want Jeff Keighley to talk about the game announcements. <laughs> yeah. He's completely ignoring your points and just plowing on with his anger. <laughs> uh, Go on. So anyway, so Campo Santo got acquired by Valve like a while mm. ago, and now it turns out that they're not working on this anymore. 
on it's it's on hold, as I said. And the reason is is because all the people at Campo Santo have now been sort of dispersed amongst Valve. Some people are working on Half Life, some people are working on like Dota Underlords, and some people are just working on Steam. And they've said that oh, Imagine being those ones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The senior old workmates. What are you working on? Half Life. What are you working on? Just Steam sales, <laughs> shops. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they've said that they might go back to it, but it's officially on hold. And I mean, Jesus. this is never going to come out, is it? It's done. I no. imagine. That's, That's such a shame because well, this, we'll is, this isn't the first time this has happened, right? Valve have acquired devs, and then whatever they're working on just sort of gets quietly disappeared. But um, yeah, <laughs> like, this, they get acquired, this... and they're like, the game's like. Look, we'd like you to work on Steam because it makes a lot of money. Yeah, and it's, it's, like, <laughs> yeah. Can we just it's really keep doing nice that? that you're actually making a computer game. But the thing is, people, other people just make them. We just sell them. Yeah. It's fine. We just <laughs> keep keep up your doodling. Keep up the doodling. <laughs> <laughs> right, God. Yeah, yeah this is no, a huge shame. This there was a really, really sad uh, thread by one of the writers. I'm not, yes. I'm not sure who saying like all the research and like put his heart and soul into it and spend months working this stuff. And if mm. we just be like, nah. Quiet now. That's that's done. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's business, baby. Yeah. Get used to it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We'll watch The Apprentice. <laughs> <laughs> God, it's not just a game. It's your friend. <laughs> God, I was devastated. He got voted out. It's you know he, he was fine. Yeah, oh, it was like... it was it, it had to happen though, didn't it? It did. It yeah. Was getting ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, probably it's. I like, it's probably... I like him anyway. No, I ain't having it. I'm gonna step it. Why are we talking about The Apprentice? <laughs> so go on, let's just let's not get into this. Let's not get into this. What's, what's your business Bonus show material. Pillars, pillars. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's probably good that he's he's not going to get humiliated at the the interview stage, isn't it? So it's yeah. That'd okay, just be, that'd that's be hard enough. To watch. I've just pointed out we shouldn't be talking about The Apprentice. Yeah, no, on. but it's good, isn't it? Mm. It is good. Sorry. Anyway, uh, next story is: Do you remember Quantic Dream got in trouble a while ago for the whole? Allegedly, yeah, for the, for no, no, actually got in trouble, uh, yeah. <laughs> according to the court. Anyway, so they got in trouble because there was all those like accusations of like photoshopped images doing the rounds and all that kind of stuff. We yeah. were on the show the then, Nazi Dave. stuff. Yeah, I don't remember. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was. Yeah, yeah, I was there for that. You were on there, weren't you? And it was John, wasn't it? But not. Um, I think Sean was off. Yeah, I think it, it was. Oh, uh, that's right. It's when yeah. I was off. I think. Yeah. yeah. Maybe. So it turns out that this has gone to court because one of the um, one of the employees like took them to court over it, and it's now they've been ordered to pay seven thousand euros because this is over like these photoshopped images of like him doing like a Nazi salute. Uh, it was shared in the office, and he got yeah, he wasn't very happy about it. But then, mm-hmm. and the court also described the images as homophobic, misogynistic, racist, or simply profoundly vulgar, and apparently they were like spread around for years, but. He only got he got seven thousand euros. Um, they were asked. Another former employee was seeking like one hundred fourteen thousand euros in compensation and yeah. unfair dismissal, but that that was rejected um, from it. But the thing is, is that it does seem that Quantic Dream have done something about it because they ruled that, like the judge ruled that the company had reacted appropriately eventually and had yeah dealt with it, and so it wasn't yeah wasn't so much of a problem anymore. But uh, yeah, so yeah, okay. I thought I'd just give you a follow up on that that there was yeah it did go to court. And uh, it did win. Justice. Yeah. I mean, it's only seven grand, but I'd, I'd take it. I was I was going to say, like, well, have Sony, like, not commented? But then I remembered that Sony have got nothing to do with them. Yeah, they're, yeah, yeah. Yeah, know, they're not doing anything. They release their games on Sony platforms exclusively. Like, they're not, they're the independent studio from them, aren't they? Yeah. They're not owned by Sony. No, not anymore, no. It's, so, uh, well, not, yeah, there's no connection. Yeah. They're doing everything. That's what I reckoned. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? A Siri. <laughs> Siri just said, that's what I reckoned. And so... <laughs> <laughs> she said, it's, it's the fifth Beetle. <laughs> that's what I reckoned. Yeah, she's, she's well, the we best. Got the, oh, no, we've we got to call it the Gotti, the, the draft show, haven't we? That's a shame. <laughs> that's what I reckoned is a great title for the podcast. Okay, right. would you would you like a Google Stadia story? Yes, Not please. Can please. I just say at this point, James, can Go I just on. say, yeah. you started this by going... Ah, oh, the news is shit this week. It's been fucking... It's been one of the best you've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. It's been pretty good. Go on. So, I mean, this is, like, again, only a short one, but, I mean, it seems that Google are trying to get Stadia out in front of people, so they're opening a pop-up shop in London. This is going to be in Box Park Shoreditch on the 11th, so this would be on the day this pod comes out, actually. So if you if you hear this, then... We got invited to it. it well, no, no, there's no invite. Did you it's, not see that? It's, it's 12 till 8, like in, you know... Yeah, like I did, on, Dave, yeah. On the 11th. 
<laughs> James, we know more than you, the newsman. Were we invited to this? No, we got, we got, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I... We got like a special invite, not just a, not with the slums. We, we got like, a, we got, um, yeah, we got a proper invite, mate. Really? I, so I didn't check the email, so I, I had no idea. But yeah, so, okay. We, we, we're, None of us went. We're not going to be there. That's, <laughs> that's, that's not happened yet. Yeah, that's, that's not happening. But it says, Google have said that, it's, they said, some of your favourite YouTube creators will be joining the party. Um, after pro- <laughs> oh, mate, they thought you weren't going to turn <laughs> up. <laughs> <laughs> and then it says, after, James that, Farley. Yeah, then it says, after cruising around town with fans. So that, that's what they were going to be doing. What? And there's, apparently there are going to be sweets and free gifts. So that's, that's exciting. Oh, there you go. I mean, that, that's going to turn around Stadia's fortunes, I think. Like this, this kind of thing, <laughs> like pop up. You know, it's uh, it's a great idea. Mm. When is it? When is it on? Uh, it's uh, the eleventh. It's yeah. When this comes out, twelve till eight pm. Yeah. No, oh, right. oh, we should have gone, Matt. We probably got, probably we got Chromecast for that. Yeah. Oh well. Um... Oh yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Fuck. Anyway, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Get down there, James. Meet up with your favourite YouTubers and what was it called? Cruise around town. Cruise around town here with your favourite YouTubers. It's uh, brilliant. Jesus. But yeah. You ain't cruising nowhere in central London, but... Right, go on. Okay, there's some more um, games coming to Nintendo Switch Online because there hasn't been mm. any for quite a long time. And it includes Star Fox 2, which is... Hey. Um, that's That's good. And they're coming. this is coming on the 12th of December. So this is the first time that Star Fox 2 has come out since the SNES Mini release you know, yeah. that, that it was. Were Which is a getting... bit naughty because that was partly the... yeah, it was one of the big selling points. Yeah. yeah, it was like, oh, it's the only way you're going to get Star Fox Two, guys. Yeah, and obviously there's the they never, one, they never yeah. said that though, did they? They, they, not? they just okay. said no. Just, it they did say it. the only yeah, yeah. way you can play it. Yeah. 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 So we got we got that, and there's also Kirby Superstar, Breath of Fire Two, uh, Super Punch Out, and then also some NES games that I've never heard of, like. Journey yeah. to Psilius and Crystalis. I've never heard of those, but somebody Maybe. now somebody will probably write in now and say that you know, they were amazing games that <laughs> you know that you know define the system or whatever. But yeah, I've never heard of them. <laughs> so, yeah. You've not got a lot of respect for our listeners, have you? Oh, James? I've got loads of respect. Uh, yeah, they, I love being corrected. Just, just not not for NES games. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's coming out. That's good. Um, we've got mm. a state of play coming this Tuesday at two o'clock. Um, this is well last well, Tuesday. By the time yeah, you hear yeah, this, yeah, like yesterday. Yeah. So this is expected to be about twenty minutes long. There's nothing confirmed about it, but it's looking like probably Ghost of Tsushima is going to be there and Resident Evil Three, uh, the remake. No, 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 no Resi yeah. isn't going to be there. Uh, Jeff Keighley already said it's not happening. Oh, is it? Is it not? Oh, really? Okay. Is that is that going to be like, game? No, Wars, Resident then? Evil's coming to my party, not this one. Shut up. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and maybe Crash Bandicoot because apparently that's that's getting revealed. Oh, there's going to fingers be a, crossed! A new one of those. Yeah. <laughs> what? There's going to be a new one. Yeah, apparently. Yeah. It's. Uh, I think because it. I okay. mean, the insane trilogy sold really well, didn't it? So, I guess mm. it's kind of inevitable. Um, yeah. And then also yeah, there's true. there's a Switch Indie Direct as well yesterday um, that you will have seen that we haven't seen yet. But again, that's another oh, twenty hang on, minutes. I've got, got a real life correction here. Go on. Uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, I, I thought you were talking about the Game Awards. Not stay play yet, and it, this is just the Resident Evil stuff is not going to be at Game Awards, but yeah, there's every chance it will be ah, right. at state of play. Ah, okay, yeah. right. I just had to clarify that because someone will email. You got Laura Coonsberg, um, yeah. I'm I'm bang up for I'm back up I'm bang <laughs> up for a new. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm bang up for a new uh, Nindy's uh, direct. Definitely, yeah, I man. can't wait to see some new stuff. Like, see what they're bringing out. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So, quite looking forward to that. There's always usually something on there that looks really interesting. So yeah, I mean, usually like, free calls of it is interesting, which is a uh, trouble for my wallet. <laughs> true, true. Right, uh, done. Last story is there's a new Bioshock okay, coming next next uh, generation. Yeah, what? They're, they're going to make a new Bioshock apparently. There's a new studio. I haven't heard being that. Developed. Well, is it the, oh, wow. the the other half of this? Is it's a new studio, isn't it? Yeah, it's there's been a new formed. studio that's being yeah. formed. Yeah, that's going to make a Bioshock game, which is going to come out. Oh, great. Next generation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd like to see where they go with that. I mean, we've had a city in the sky, a city in the sea. What next? City hey? on land. Man, yeah. There's, that's been done. That's, that's been done. Well, um, not in Bioshock, it hasn't. <laughs> Grand, Theft, Grand Theft Auto 4 did that. <laughs> um, what, a city. Space. F- space city, of course. That's where they go. Yeah, mate. Space city. Oh, mind you, there's probably people who will now email in angrily saying that uh, Prey a couple of years ago yeah, was true, yeah. was that. <laughs> so you fucked yeah. it. You've absolutely ruined our credibility. I did. I did. I've embarrassed myself on the internet. I'm sorry. I've only played Bioshock Infinite, 
Um, and I thought it started off stunning, and then by the end, I saw you know, it was. I, I, yeah, I, I thought the story I, was good, but I just got a little bit tired of the combat. But um, I wasn't a huge fan. I yeah. will be interested to see what a new Bioshock looks like. You were when I t- spoke to you after you <laughs> finished it. <laughs> I have to keep bringing that up, bits. and I will keep bringing that up. Sure. <laughs> it, it really, yeah, it really does great me that. We had a long conversation after we both completed that game saying about how brilliant it was and the story was great. And then no, suddenly, I never said a couple the of weeks later. Was great. I enjoyed the ending, Sean. and I enjoyed the start and the end, <laughs> like the very end. But yeah, yeah, once you unpack it, it's there's a lot of problems with that game. Okay, Sean, is that how we're rewriting it? Is that how we're rewriting the history? I wish I had the text. <laughs> we were gushing over <laughs> that game when text. we finished it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, you've always hated it. Fine, turn your back no, on I me, Sean. No, I don't hate it. There's a lot of things I really love about it, but they're just, yeah, just in hindsight, it's just, I mean, because you never saw the, the pre-release footage, did you, Dave? I think this was... That was the big thing for me, yeah. I think. Um, I never, I, yeah, because I, I wasn't interested in Bioshock at the time, yeah. so I'd never seen all the stuff that they used to sell the game. Yeah. Um, so I never understood the like people going, "Well, why can't you just rip open portals anywhere?" Mm. And I'm going, "All right, <laughs> calm down. <laughs> why? Why are you saying that? Yeah. That's weird. Yeah. Like, why would you expect that?" And then obviously, when you go back and watch the stuff they originally showed off, yeah. it's like. Yeah, no, that was the game. Yeah. Right, okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, in hindsight, it's that. incredible that we didn't twig that that was never going to happen. Like, like the stuff yeah, they show yeah. off in that trailer is just like it, it's, it's unbelievable yeah, it's even now. Like, what? Um, yeah. So why we ever thought that was going to be a thing, I don't know. But yeah, I loved that game. I thought it was great. I mean, don't get me wrong, had a lot of shit moments in it. Mm. That ghost fight was yeah. fucking bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> but no, uh, most of the rest of it I liked. Um, okay, okay, cool. Are we done? That's news? it. Yeah, we're all done. Wicked. Um, wow, what a news section this week. Really good. Um, right, I, I, I mean, what you've been playing is going to be quite short this week, I think, because, you know, we're all gearing up for um, the draft. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I, who's going to start? James, I, I want to start with you this week. I want to start with you. Okay. I mean, the only no, the no. only thing I've really played is L.A. Noir. Like, I played that on stream Your on stream Friday. was fucking brilliant. Did you see it? Like, it's so... Oh, God, yeah. I've, I've watched it in chunks or whatever. The first fight you get into, yeah. right? So, yeah. So, just explain L.A. Noir, and we'll talk about that first fight. Okay, so we remember L.A. Noir from before. So, this was like a kind... I mean, not... It's not like Grand Theft Auto style game, but it was like a kind of open world game where you were a detective in it's nineteen forties, isn't it? I think. Yeah. Like it's it's post war. Post World War Two, yeah. yeah. So you're you're like a detective and you have to go around like solving cases and stuff and uncovering kind of corruption that's going on inside the police force. And I wasn't a massive fan of the game when it came out, mostly because it, I mean, it had some interesting like things like the like the facial animation in particular was one of the things that people thought was really great. Um, but it did also have a very interesting interrogation feature where you were like supposed to like talk with people, try and figure out what they're you know whether they're lying or not by their facial expressions, and then you could like choose your approach of how you were going to like get the information out of him. The problem with this was that often it didn't work, and the mm. character used to go from mild mannered to angry very quickly, which made it which made it very funny. Like if you're watching because you'd be talking to some like poor old lady, and then suddenly he'd start shouting at her that it was that she'd done it and everything, and then she'd just like cry. What's the one it, where it's it's just totally polite, and then yeah, if you think they they're bullshitting you, you pick like you know the the doubt option. You just yeah. goes, shut your fucking mouth. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, it was just okay. like yeah, it was like you're having a nice conversation, and then you just choose doubt, and then it's just like yeah. it's like you did it, didn't, didn't you? you? Scream yeah. sound like you was it's like about gassing someone and shit. It oh, was this oh, really God, yeah. yeah. I mean that that was the other thing because okay, so then they've re-released this kind of in VR, but it's called the VR Case Files, and it's not like the game as you played it like on 360 or PS3 or whatever it seems to be like chunks of the game that have been sort of like modified for VR and so you do like a bunch of like different like things in it like you there's sections where you have to like walk around and examine crime scenes which is really difficult because you're walking around but it's like it has the you can choose different movement controls in VR so you can either choose to like do the usual sort of like warping to places or you can actually use the the buttons to like move around and okay. it's fine actually i got quite because i i think i'm used to that now like the movement even though you're not really moving thing i don't it doesn't make me feel sick anymore but 
it's mm. still a bit strange, like having to run, and like I felt like I, I had to run on the spot while I was doing it because <laughs> I, because otherwise it just feels really confusing, like to your brain or whatever. <laughs> and also, it had other stuff like it. Sometimes the tutorials are not very clear, so I'd like get my notebook out, start looking at stuff, and then I couldn't figure out how to put my notebook back, and it was like it was stuck <laughs> to my hand. So I was like shaking it. <laughs> And it wouldn't come out of my hand. It was like it was like glued to your hand. It's just like ridiculous. And I mean, also the clues that you get are stupid as well. Like it's like, look, there's old. It's like the, the detectives like, I think something's happened here. And there's like a door with like blood co- like covered in the door. Like the door's covered in blood. And it's like, yeah, I, th- I think something did happen here. It's um, yeah, stuff like that. So you've got sections where you're walking around the night investigating. You also drive from like one like from one scene to another, and that. Has been the best bit because it's like you sit down in the car, you like you know use the like the move controllers to like you know turn on the engine and then like steer and everything, and it's it's really fun actually. It it feels brilliant like driving around the car. I mean the cars handle terribly because like you know you press brake and it takes forever for the car to actually come to like a stop, hmm. and yeah, so I, I crashed a lot like in the in you know at the start of the game it was, it was which is pretty funny. Yeah, he caught himself. <laughs> he caught himself. <laughs> so you got that. And then, so you, but also, I mean, you can if you want to, you can just sort of fast travel to like different places. But I thought that's not in the spirit of this game. I wanted to like drive around because it's it's fun. Although the only problem is, is that if you crash into stuff, your car gets damaged. And I was driving around at night. I crashed into stuff so much that the the, the headlights weren't working anymore. So I just <laughs> could not see where I was going. I mean, I drove into a lake and then like through the lake and then like smashed into a bridge and went flying up in the air. It was really odd and but still kind of fun. And then. So you do that, you investigate the crime scenes, but then also you have to like, you know, chat with people and like try and, you know, build a case, you know, around whatever's gone on or like go, you know, like follow leads to go from like, you know, go to a gun shop, what kind of gun was the killer using, you know, what, you know, what uh, what kind of bullet is it and stuff like that. Then you get leads from talking to people. But then after you've like busted someone and you take them down to the station, you then have to do the interrogation. And that's where it gets weird because the interrogation that I did was of this guy and it was very racially charged. Let's put it that way. And it right. was to the point where, I mean, like straight, like straight from the beginning, you're feeling very uncomfortable playing this of like, you know, the, the language that's been thrown around and everything. But mm. still, yeah, it's, it's, I mean, also the other problem with it is that if you make mistakes with the interrogation, like just one mistake in, like in the dialogue and you have to go right back to the beginning and, and do it again. And it, it's yeah. really like you're just trying to find the path through the conversation tree, yeah. and that's that's quite irritating and yeah and boring as well. It's it's not that's not a lot of fun. But um, the other stuff is good though, like driving around, chatting with people. Definitely be enjoying that. I did get into. I mean, you get into fist fights as well with people, which is really funny. And that's what I mean. That was the bit that was cracking up because <laughs> you had that tutorial bit where you are in a fist fight with someone, yeah. and um. It, it went on for far too long. <laughs> like, I don't understand why it went... You were just constantly hitting the guy in the face. Yeah. <laughs> and it didn't sound like he had enough focal lines no, to he just kept repeating the same justify stuff. how long it went on, because he just kept repeating the same thing over and over like, again. Mostly homophobic you, slurs, like, as, as it was oh, going on. You were out of breath. You were out of breath within five <laughs> seconds. So, like, and, and the, the fight went on for about four minutes. Yeah. And it was just weird. But what was amazing was when it said... Yeah, so to punch the guy, close your fist and then <laughs> punch him, right? And then it said, but you can also open palm slap him. Yeah. <laughs> it was just like so funny. Um, yeah, it was weird. I honestly, anyone that's interested in this game, just definitely go and watch James's stream on our YouTube channel. It's it's hilarious. I mean, the thing with the fight, the reason that it went on for so long is I'd forgotten that you have to like close your fist, like to punch. So I was. Oh, really? So I was you just were just slapping, slapping him. him. I was just slapping <laughs> him for about four or five minutes. I was just slapping him like continuously, and it got to the point where I got like right up in his face and was trying to headbutt him because it it just wouldn't. Yeah, it just wouldn't work. But then eventually I figured out. Yeah, I've got to press the button in, and then I can then I can punch him. But honestly, it's there are issues with this. But then obviously they're trying to you know portray like a you know a time that is you know we'd hope is like kind of gone now, but. You know, it's still it's it's uncomfortable, like some of the like some of the dialogue in it. But it's still as a VR game, this is the one of the most interesting I've played so far. Like I've, I'm enjoying it. It's mm-hmm. it's fun to play, like really, really fun. Like much more than probably any other game that I've played recently. It's um it's great. So I would recommend. Cool. Cool. All right. And that's all you got for us. This Pretty week. much, yeah. I played Doom Two as well, um, because I was just going back on that on the Switch and that is not a great game, actually. Like the um <laughs> 
No, it's really not. Like about two thirds, the th- the first third of the game, like is is really good, but the second two thirds, the level design is dreadful. Like it's just not fun at all, and I was quite shocked because I had very fond memories of it, like playing it on PC back in the day. But it's um it's really not as good as the first game at all. It's um yeah, apart from the super shotgun, which is still great, but uh, yeah, the rest of it not very good. That's it. Shame. That's all I played. Sean, Sean, what you got for us, man? Uh, considering I've had a week off, not a huge amount. Um. That's fine, that is fine. Uh, so, upgraded my PC and um, played a load of Forza Horizon 4 because it's the best game. Um, it really is good, isn't it's, it? Yeah, it's untouchable. This is what annoys me when James goes, oh, this doesn't count. It's, <laughs> like, it's just so good. That's yeah. not what I meant. I don't want to get into this again, it's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> I just, you know, it's one of those where, you know, like we, you know, we always complain about Ubisoft games where there's, oh, the map's just full of fucking icons and it's, uh, it's just busy work. It, the map in this is also full of icons, but everyone, every single one of them feels like an exciting opportunity rather than a thing that needs to be ticked off. Um, I just, yeah, I just love how fucking endless the whole thing is. And that's before you even get into, you know, there's like all the, the online stuff that's going on. There's like daily and weekly challenges. Yeah. And like yeah. doing events with other people. You can co op most of the events, which I don't think any of us have ever done. Um, no. I just, yeah. It, I've never taken one of those games online properly. No, me neither. I mean, I have, but not like in a serious way. But what's amazing about um, 4 is that it just goes, hey, do you just want to just blast through these, the stunt mission ones? (laughs) Like the ones where you've been filmed? Yeah, Yeah, yeah. you could just do that if you want for a bit. If you want to just go straight to the massive events, you can do those. The Halo one is incredible. Yes. The, uh, but those those stuntman missions are just fantastic, <laughs> like really funny. Just the guy is really funny. Just, I'm not even sure if it. you're the good guy or the villain in this one, but just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But there you go, off you go. They get it, they get it just right, yeah. man. That yeah. I really I'm close to pulling the trigger on the Lego uh, stuff. See, I've got it, but I've not like I've I've just not even had any reason to go and check it out, just because there's so much to do. I never got the is it Fortune Island, the first DLC they put out. No, I didn't. Well, get it yeah, on, it just looks kind of miserable, and yeah. I don't really, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it does. don't really get it. Yeah. Um, yeah, but yeah, just just so much to do in the base game that I've just yeah, like I'm excited not about bothered. trying the Lego stuff, but I've just not needed. With the, with the Lego yeah. stuff, it's getting more. I'm getting closer and closer because Harry has now downloaded mm. Minecraft onto the Xbox, oh, okay. and I'm kind of, and he's constantly going, "I want to play Minecraft," and I'm just, I don't want. That's not fun for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it could be if you found a way of co op in it. What if one of you was I, on the Switch did... and mom's on the telly, yeah. and you could, you can do cross. Yeah, that's true. You? Yeah, but then um, I I mean we have been building a house together, so it's cool. cool. Like I I'm not you know I'm not totally against him playing it, but uh, so I've been yeah I've been building houses and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but um, yeah, it's not quite. It's funny how much of my work I'm trying to put into it. <laughs> okay, Harry, we need to dig a pit and lay foundations first. <laughs> and, uh, it needs like, what the fuck are you talking about, Dad? Just lay the foundations. <laughs> Trust me, it'd be worth it in the long run. <laughs> um what else oh yeah so uh, i've been back on uh the outer wilds because yes that's coming up next week isn't it let's let's just admit that it is um uh yeah i absolutely adore it um i thought i was like i was really worried about going back to it because i thought it was going to be a struggle um but it's it's brilliant how quickly you can get back into it um yeah i'm, I'm excited about talking about it next week I should um, really play i'm that. glad you're enjoying it good thank you um a uh, bit of a surprise one. Um, this is a game. Uh, it's out, I've played it on Switch. It's also on PC. It's called Black Future eighty eight. Um, it's <laughs> it's one of those. It's one of those indie games with the the pixel art and the synthwave and the cyberpunk and the roguelike stuff and the the, the you know there's 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 fucking loads of them. Um, but it, this is one of the best I have ever played. I really love it. So you. Um, yeah, so 2D side scrolling shoot 'em up um with, you know, randomly generated levels. Um so every time you play it it's slightly different. There's all like random upgrades and different guns and, and enemy patterns and um and there's like different characters to pick from which have slightly different stats and abilities. Um and yeah, you're just blasting through levels, killing guys, picking up upgrades, um, fighting bosses, getting more upgrades, doing more levels, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Um it's just so unbelievably fun to play and so beautifully presented it's i feel like i'm getting out of this what everyone else loves about dead cells which i really struggled with um i just yeah i don't ever need it to end um i could like no 
like with Dead Cells, I was getting pissed off. I, I don't know if it's because Dead Cells felt so much like a, a Metroidvania to me, so that every death I was getting really annoyed because, you know, there's that currency you pick up and if you don't cash it in at the end of a level, you just drop it all. Whereas in Black Future, it's like you just earn experience points every time you play it and then the more you play it, yeah, you, you get more experience points, you level up and then that unlocks more stuff that can appear in future runs. Um, so everything you do feels like it contributes to to like you know future stuff um mm. and so yeah so nothing no no effort feels like it's wasted in this um it's got loads of like really weird systems that i don't fully understand there's like some upgrades um are cursed there's a whole curse mechanic that i don't understand yet there's um you unlock uh, like a guy who sells you stims so they're like these temporary abilities but you can get addicted to them and i think they like like when you when you use a stim it's like one of the blocks on your health bar changes color and then it starts to like burn i think it's like once you've got once you've had one stim you have to like keep getting a new one every so often or else you start losing like your maximum health starts dropping just loads of weird little systems in it um that are just properly interesting um the the weapons are weird like it's the standard stuff is like pistols shotguns lasers but then occasionally you'll get like so sometimes they, they, there's a couple of melee weapons and then there's like there's this one that's like a rail gun but every time you shoot an enemy with it it swaps you with the enemy i think it usually kills in one hit but it like teleports you to where the enemy was and vice versa so you can do these like incredible runs where you just like essentially dashing across the screen just shooting enemy after enemy it's just and it, it just looks absolutely gorgeous um again it's you know you've seen games that look like this um but it's just such a, a brilliant fucking laser show like every time you get into a fight it's just it just looks beautiful um the soundtrack is absolutely stunning um i just yeah I'm properly surprised by it because i've heard i've not really heard any fanfare about it um but yeah, I'm really enjoying it. And yeah, if you, as I say, if you if you've enjoyed like Dead Cells or anything similar to this, like definitely check it out because I'm in, I'm really surprised how much I'm enjoying it. Um, well, what's that game called again? Sorry, uh, Black Future eighty eight. You playing the on title PC? is a joke. Uh, yeah, apparently the <laughs> the story is that basically everything got nuked in nineteen eighty eight, and then they just sort of stopped counting time after that. So it's not actually in. 1988 but they're just like yeah who cares it's 88 who gives a shit so it's all sort of futuristic cyberpunk stuff there's cool. like <laughs> it just nails so much of the cyberpunk stuff as well like um you know so you're fighting your way up a tower which is controlled by some guy at the top who's gone insane and he like every time you pick up new items or you get to a new level he just spouts this like weird sort of pseudo philosophical shit at you but it's kind of knowingly bad and weird and just a bit creepy um so yeah that that all just works quite well i think um yeah i I really love it i've been really really surprised by it i just um yeah it it looked cool and but i kind of thought these sorts of games are 10 a penny um but it just feels so good to play i'm just yeah well pleased with it that's cool yeah Uh, i mean other than that i mean i finished obviously finished life is strange too but yeah, yeah, we all did. Well, yeah, I, I mean, mean I was we, gonna, yeah. we, you know, I, I, we'll keep it brief because yeah. um, we released our spoiler cast this week. Yeah. Um, so if you played through it, then definitely give that a listen. And I don't think I can take take much abuse from John Denton via text, <laughs> so we'll keep it very short. Um, yeah, no, it's incredible, isn't it? Yeah, it's incredible, absolutely. Um, and it's uh, what a fantastic ending. To I mean, there was always that fear that they wouldn't be able to end this and. You know, it wasn't. I couldn't fall in love with the series until I'd experienced the ending, and mm. um, thankfully, the ending was so good that it puts everything else in perspective again. Pop. I mean, I think we all kind of agree that it's probably better than the first series. And yeah, you know yeah. how much we love that series. Yeah, it yeah, was, yeah. it was crazy. But all I will say is that a lot of people were put off by the massive gaps yeah. between each episode. Um, I well, there's no gaps now go and get it and if you've got game pass i think you've got everything up to episode four as well oh, so really? get started on that and i think so i'm pretty confident they're on there i thought they were um, yeah. I thought... yeah they are definitely on there yeah 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 yeah. so get that played i mean mm. don't expect it to be a thrilling game because it's not it's very slow paced it's very um it's all about conversation really but it just fa- fucking nails it it nails it and that ending 
my word, it's up there with one of the best endings I've ever seen in a video game. Yep. Um, uh, and as I said on the spoiler cast, but I don't mind saying here, Daniel, your little brother in the game, I, I've never cared about a video game character more than I did that guy. That is it. By the end of it, it was I cared about that character and that that changed a lot of decisions that I had pre set in my head going into this final um this final episode. So yeah, it's crazy. Crazy what that game does. Yeah. But yeah. Yep. Good good game. Yep. Um so that was all I had. So Matt? Yeah, it was basically that and Sekiro. Um I also upgraded my PC this week and I spent the first two or three days trying to upgrade that and it was a dead motherboard killed me, so that was half my week wasted on that, baby. Uh, so no, just uh, Sekiro and um, and Life Strange. Man. Yeah, I wanted to get um, my friend Pedro played quite a bit this week, but um, I, I, um, yeah, I didn't really have the time. It was a shame because I mean we've been recording so much this week that time's been very yeah. limited. That's on Game Pass um, now, isn't it? It is on Game Pass, yeah, and uh, I've enjoyed what I played, but I've only played, you know, the first couple of levels or whatever. Um, but yeah, no, it's it's fiddly. I don't think it would have ended up anywhere near the top on the top of my list. But yeah, good, right? Well, speaking of lists, oh, I'm dreading this. Let's oh, go on to the main yeah, list. I'm anxious. Well, I've got the names. I've got the names out. And remember, we don't discuss the games as we nominate mm-hmm. them. Uh, we mentioned it last week that the rules have changed for next week's Game of the Year show. Um, we're all going to nominate four games, and then we've got a wild card. Uh, and then you, dear listener, will get to l- vote via Twitter on which wild card makes the list. Then next week, someone has to lose a game. Um, and I, I guess we should get to it. Are you ready for the first name out of the hat? No. Yeah, go on, do it. Well, let's just do the let's do all the names, right? Okay, so yeah, so, so we got the, the order. order. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sean gets to pick first. Woo! Then it's Matt. <sighs> then it's James, and then it's me. And we've had um, uh, a few comments in the past where it's like, well, actually, if you're doing it this way out of the hat like that, you should go. If it's this order, you should go Sean, Matt, James, Dave, Dave, James, Matt, Sean. And I'm like, nah, fuck that. <laughs> you get picked last, man. You get picked last. Like, you're in the shit. It's fine. I am worried now, though, because I think all of my <laughs> games are going to get picked. Well, that's my, that's my concern as well. Okay. All right. Um, so let's just rattle them off. Uh, let, actually, before we do that, let me just bring up my list. Right. Okay. Sean, go. Disco Elysium. Uh, Matt Outer Wilds I'd have put money on those first two <laughs> yeah guarantee whichever one you didn't choose I was yeah. going to choose the other James Life is Strange Season 2 okay uh, Luigi's Mansion 3 Sean um, Sayonara Wild Hearts <laughs> down, down to that list already, yeah. <laughs> uh, Matt. Resident Evil 2. Where is he? 2. Uh, sh- James. Judgment. Oh dear. <laughs> Judgment. Stop it. He said we weren't discussing him. <laughs> We're not. I'm not discussing him. Uh, right, so it's mine. Um, Untitled Goose Game. Okay, uh, back to you, Sean. Uh, Greece. That confirms that I've got to buy it. Yeah, uh, I will buy that this week and play it. I would appreciate it if you did. I, I do think you'll like I it. Don't know if I, do you know what? I don't know if I can afford it anymore. <laughs> I'm, I'm out. No, okay. well, if my overly expensive collector's edition turns up in time, I'll post it. <laughs> 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 um, right, uh, James, uh, Sean, uh, Matt. <laughs> God, you're like my nan. <laughs> James, go on, Matt. Matt. Um, Gears 5. Uh, James? Uh, the Walking Dead final season. Okay. Wow, um, that seems like forever ago. Right, where am I going Matt, from yeah. here? That was this year. Oh, man. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. I've got three that I want to get on the list, and I suppose I've got three choices left. So, 
Okay. Have I got three choices left? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah with the wild two more card. on the wild card, yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, Tetris 99. Um, back to you, Sean. Heave ho. Heave ho? Hmm. How did that not even make my list? Do you know, I... It should have done. Yeah. I think I've forgotten it. Literally today, <laughs> I was like, oh, fuck. Of course. <laughs> yeah, of course. Um, Matt. A Plague Tale Innocence. Never heard of it. He's talked about it on the show. Yeah. You weren't on the show then. I yeah. t- Was I on the show? I no. don't know. I don't think so. I used to skip those bits. <laughs> um, <laughs> James. I out. Okay, and my last one then is <laughs> fuck. <laughs> I'm trying to think strategically here. <laughs> I will go with uh, Mario Maker Two. Okay. I will go with that as my last full one. It's wild card time. It's wild card time. Wait, is it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's Jesus 16. Christ. Let's go through the 16. Okay. Right, so one, Disco Elysium. Two, Outer Wilds. Three, Life is Strange 2. Four, Luigi's Mansion 2. Uh, Luigi's Mansion 3. <laughs> um, five, Cyanide Wild Hearts. Um, six, Resi 2. Uh, seven, Judgment. Eight, Untitled Goose Game. Nine, Gris. Although I put Grim here for some reason. <laughs> 10 Gears 5, 11 The Walking Dead, 12 Tetris 99, 13 Heave Ho, 14 A Plague Tower Innocence, um, 15 Ape Out, 16 Mario Maker 2. Um, Sean, what's your wild card? Uh, right, I don't know. It's a toss up. Um... Fuck it. Uh, Black Future 88. Okay. Sean, you know people who are voting on this stuff, yeah? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a poor choice for the wild card, wasn't it? Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Matt? <clears throat> now, uh, there's options here. <laughs> <laughs> um... Hmm. I'm going to go with Hmm. <laughs> Get on with it. Don't milk it. Come what, on, what, man. I've, what, I've I've picked one that's absolutely doomed, so just what go. That, James? I said get on with it. Oh, okay, right. <laughs> Um. Oh fuck! This is really difficult. <laughs> oh, I'm tempted to just go over you yeah. now. No, move you to the back of the list. You're taking the piss. I'm thinking about it. Well, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> stop what? Stop thinking about stop it. Stop thinking about it. Stop thinking about it. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go with. Oh god, this is oh, this is <laughs> arguably harder than the first four. <sighs> This is insane. Mm-hmm. Why is it insane? I'm thinking it's about pathetic. it. You should, you should have, have already thought pathetic. about it. Exactly. Well, no, because some things might have gone and moved around and that, you know. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go with um, Sekiro. What? Oh, whatever. That's ridiculous. That Fuck is sake. that is ridiculous, and I know exactly why you've done that, and it is bullshit. <laughs> King James. Jail. I'm going with Fire Emblem. Yes. I'm surprised that didn't make the list. Mm. I'm really surprised I didn't make Sean's list. Yeah. That's weird. Okay. Um, well, no, I'm yeah, going with uh, yeah. Jedi Fallen Order. Sekiro. So here's, that, here's what, a a joke. <laughs> what a joke. What a joke. Says the man. We'll talk, says the man last year we'll talk who about put next in week. Detroit. <laughs> this is this is just naked like ambition, Matt. It's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Look, 
<laughs> we'll talk about it next week. That's not. We can't question his decision. That's the one he's gone with. He's gone for a tactical vote, and that's all in the spirit of the game, isn't it? Really. Well, hey, um, if Matt wants to argue with the rest of us about why he loves Sekiro so much, that's. <laughs> See that's a good point that's going to be interesting <laughs> it's going to be interesting um uh right okay so what is it that's if it gets picked though Sean, that's true that's oh, if it get gets picked. picked he'll get picked uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. all right well i mean i might have to just put a few star wars hashtags on <laughs> the uh <boat. laughs> let's see how that goes um okay right so uh when when are we putting the vote up is it thursday no ha- i think wednesday when basically, Wednesday so afternoon. let's give you a Twitter poll Wednesday to Saturday. Why Wednesday? Okay, we'll do Thursday. Like the day that the episode comes Should out. Be Thursday, Friday, Friday. Well, okay, it would just be a two day poll then if we do it on Thursday. I guess we could do it Thursday to Sunday, three day poll. Until, like, yeah, do it until, do it, run it until we're about to record the show. Down to the wire. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll do Thursday, Thursday to, to Sunday. Sunday. Okay. On Twitter.com um, slash computer game pod. Twi- Twitter.com forward slash computer game pod. We will have um, a Twitter poll running with these four <clears> games <throat> on it Jedi Fallen Order, Sekiro, <laughs> Fire Emblem, and Black Future 88. You get to pick which one of those games is guaranteed a place on our last 16. Not only that, you will also grant the person that nominated that game immunity from losing a yeah. game on that list. That's how it's going to go next week, the Game of the Year show. Yeah, so I'm going to put the poll live <sighs> midday on Thursday. Wow. On Thursday? Okay. It's not a bad list. Yeah, so it's, Thursday, it's, I, I man, it's been It's been doing me in. I, mean, I know we'll, we'll cover this next week, but people being like, oh, it's been a shit year for games, hasn't it? What? I don't, <laughs> don't get it. Don't get no, it it's been all. some good stuff, but it's been a re- there's some good- stuff on here that I'm surprised hasn't made it as well. Like, um, so the other ones, let's we could talk about that. The, the like sort of yeah, Neo I've, Cab was on my list. Yeah, it's on my um, list. I was surprised that didn't what, turn up. I haven't that, played that enough of backup. it, but I yeah, I thought someone was going to go for it. But what the golf was also on my list. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, but no, that was yeah, that was my entire list. The rest of them got on there. I was, um, but I'm surprised I didn't have Heave Ho on there. I was, I yeah. it just. But I guess I forgot about See, it. I thought about Tetris Which is 99 awful. and Mario Maker 2, but I just haven't played them enough. Fuck, Mario, thought, yeah, no one picked Mario, Mario 2. Maker 2. God, I, I have played. Well, you've played through the whole of the story, I did, mate, yeah. Didn't you? That is a fair few hours of gameplay. It is, but then also I felt um, I haven't done enough building, though, you know, and that's the core point of oh, the game. Oh, mate, you need to get back to it. That yeah. Zelda stuff. I mean, I've not tried it yet, but I will do this week. I'm um, also but... surprised James didn't pick Astral Chain. Yeah, I, I didn't feel um, like I could argue convincingly for that, to be honest. <laughs> no, it's fair enough. I, yeah, I'm it's on the same good, page. I, just, but... I thought, yeah, I, just, I thought you liked it maybe a bit more than I did. I am um, upset that PokerStars VR didn't go to version 1.0. me, <laughs> <laughs> But that means there's always next year. One of my favourite games in this year is Control, but James Shit, was the only one who played list. it, and yeah. he hated it, so I thought there's no chance. But I... I love Control, but it was never going to win That's anything. A shame. I, was, I was fully That's prepared a, that, that, to go back uh, to that if you nominated it. Oh, but. it's it was it's so good. I, it's very I, average. It's I such a shame that yeah. you're you're see Matt, you can you playing you're the treating game. this like a competition, yeah. and it's like I feel sorry for Sean, right? Because Sean just nominates the games that he loves and that's what i do as well but you're like oh, i love that game but you know oh, it's not no, no, gonna the go only far other voice on this podcast would be someone who hates it so what, what? <laughs> i didn't hate it i just don't think it was very good i mean it's just <laughs> <laughs> you're a game player but, but hang on, and i but think d- does not good mean average or what's the difference james because you said average. average and they said not good okay i'd say it's average let's say it's average okay so it's not not good it's average it's not not good, Matt, no. I told you what he does. I told you what he does. He <laughs> will not admit that he hates the game. Oh, like Even though he constantly talks about how much he hates the game, he will never say it's a bad game because he's worried about Twitter. <laughs> like that's, <laughs> that's what he does. That is not he's true. He's a coward. That is not true. You walk through the coward door. Absolute um, coward. Yeah, I do. Well, Matt, Matt's I'm, not a coward, is he? Picking Sekiro. You know, for... <laughs> I mean, uh, you, this is... Uh, it... I think there's some uh, some little bonds need to be made here. <laughs> we we need to discuss things what, what, what's in the a same? private group chat. <laughs> okay, fine. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Uh, okay, that's our list next week. 
get involved. Get involved. And do us a favour, right? If you like our Game of the Year show, please tell people about it because it's our most, most popular show. It's it's usually our most downloaded show of the year, uh, which Definitely. is great. Um, but, you know, there are so many Game of the Year shows out there. Which are um, shit. <laughs> a lot of them honest. are shit. Yeah, a lot of them are shit. Um, uh, and I think ours is pretty good. So please tell your friends let people yeah, know that this is the it. one to listen to yeah. if they're like oh it's good to say actually I will say one thing about Game of the Year this year like yeah like I just said earlier a lot of people said it's not a great year there's you know there's barely any 10s but there's loads of like 8s and 9s it's going to be the most interesting Game of the Year discussion and not to now pod, but other pods this year. Where, I genuinely can't. Yeah, I, where, I genuinely can't. Previously, it's like, okay, last year was I like Red Dead or God of War. Pre- before that, is things like, oh, is it Mario Odyssey or Zelda or God Horizon? of War got beaten by Gardens Between. So it wasn't between those <laughs> yeah. two. No, but, but, but I mean, genuinely, not the big ones. Whereas this year, <laughs> there, there could be, st- I, there's, we're going to see, I reckon, loads of different game of the year for different publications. I mean, yeah. D- yeah, the absolutely. Death Stranding wasn't like a wasn't a ten, and like so many games are like Death Stranding didn't make it. Yeah, because no, I, I, I haven't finished them. I mean, I, I really enjoy what I play, but I haven't finished it. You haven't finished Sekiro either, but no, yeah, I had no, to. I had to make people, a decision. More people online like Sekiro, so that's uh, that's why. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> well, we'll see. <laughs> Um, vote against but Matt. yeah it's just uh, <laughs> so it's going to be really interesting to hear all the various like, publications and podcasts choose their game of the year because I think we have loads of different and like the most varied list of game of the years we've probably ever had I think there's going to be so mm. many just based on like personal preference and so on and so forth so yeah I'm really I'm looking at it. this list now though so many games could go on to win this well that's so going to be an interesting year yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. I know a game of mine okay. I didn't choose and I was like oh, do I it's like Link's Awakening I I I didn't enjoy that, but I know like James James lent it to me. I'm really not impressed. Yeah, with it. Really? Well, how so? I'm I'm enjoying it to some extent, but the technical problems with it are really bugging yeah, but you, me down. You, you fully I you get you, I fully got used to. That. I didn't even see him by the end. I played so much, mate. They're way worse than Jedi Fallen Order, and all you mention are the technical issues with Jedi Fallen Order. It, yeah, I, for whatever reason, for like I, I just got over them in. Um, in thing in uh, in Link's Wake, I didn't even notice them towards the end. It's just you know, I love that game. Okay, I was right. um, okay. gutted. I've said more though. I was, <laughs> I was gutted all over again that Yoshi's Crafted World wasn't anywhere close for me. I thought yeah. I was going to adore yeah. that game. That that was yeah. that was nearly like that was a that was a potential backup, but I still didn't was think it? it was good enough to have it as a backup. Yeah. Even yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was good. It was. I did enjoy it, but it's not. It's not game of the year, is it? It wasn't Willy well, was no. it? No. Also, Dave, uh, uh, Plague Tale is definitely one of this year's like hidden gems. It's like an absolutely mm. fantastic like double A adventure game from Focus Interactive, I think. It's mm. and it's like the studio's like debut game, I think, if I remember correctly. It's absolutely brilliant. Um you I've, should yeah, I've heard loads of really good things. All right, mate. All right. Let's save it. <laughs> you haven't heard of it, so you, you should uh, I mean you're not gonna play it by the end, but I want you I want, you, like, I want you to finish that game for the end of uh, Sunday, all right. No, uh, right, okay. Um, I want you to finish Luigi's Manch. Luigi's Manch, you got to get that played this week. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. I, I will. Promise. Um, okay, let's get on to uh, let's get on to emails. Cool. Um, Michael says hi, chaps. As is tradition, I am late, very late. This past weekend, I've just finished 2017's Game of the Year, Breath of the Wild. And that wanting to sound redundant and repeat what literally everyone else has said, that was a glorious experience, simply one of the greatest games I've ever played. And to think I had little to no interest in the, in the Switch until I listened to you lot bang on about the console for over a year and decided I'd take a look. But finishing Breath of the Wild has put me in a quandary. What to play next? How do you start a new game after finishing one of the greatest of all time? Part of me wonders if whatever I play next is going to be unfairly spoiled because it's just not as good as Breath of the Wild. Have any of you ever encountered this? Uh, thanks for a top year of pods and good luck with the draft. P.S. Uh, I mean, I, I'm really I, good at this. I'm really good at just example, going. Yeah. Nah, I, 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 I'm really good at just going. Nah, you're all right. I, that was it was incredible, but I'm not going to let it taint the next game that I play. Yeah. I'm, I'm, my brain just doesn't work like that. 
my brain just goes new experience completely different i'm i'm not going to compare the two directly in that way it's uh yeah, can't do that horizon zero dawn really suffered from this didn't it this is me yeah i played yeah. that was the first game i played after and it, it's it's not completely different it's like there's a lot of similarities and i was mm-hmm. like i can't do this there's like a million things on the map it felt really li- obviously linear and it's like mm. there wasn't the amazing adventure that there is just going from point A to point how, B how could the you world. say it was linear though it wasn't even well, it wasn't well, linear no, no, at no, all no no but I felt I felt like unlike Breath of the World where it doesn't matter if you have point A to point B you will always find an adventure along the way it doesn't matter if it's just like an open plain or like a forest you will find incredible adventures that happen on the way whereas this is like literally you can go in a straight line from point A to point B and anyway I was clearly looking at it unfairly because I just experienced Breath of the Wild and that's mm. that's one of the games I do really want to go back to especially recently with like rumours of the sequel mm-hmm. potentially being able to like a PS5 launch title I, I, I do I, 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 I do want to play it again because um, I just thought this is just I can't deal with this right now this is not Breath of the Wild and it was a good yeah. game bounced man. off a big style did, did, you, you finished it did you? No, no, okay. um, but I, I got quite far into it. I, um, yeah, I got quite far into it. Have any of us finished it or uh, played it much on this pod? Played it a bit. James? I own it, but I haven't played it. Okay, yeah, yeah I, I, I want to play that because obviously a lot of people are extremely pumped for a sequel and says it's one of, one of the, the best like, PS4 exclusives. Um, so I do want to go back to it, but yeah, I was absolutely, it absolutely ruined for me because of Breath of the Wild. Yeah, you've got to get out of that mindset, man. Like, it's it's such a, I don't know. I mean, I mean surely the, weird, oh. the answer to the question is just play something that isn't like a free roaming adventure. adventure yeah, yeah, game. you can just, just play just something that's completely different. Play, play Mario like Odyssey Doom or something. Oh, yeah, I'd, Mario Odyssey, that'd be good. Yeah. Oh, Mario Odyssey. Oh my fucking god, play that. Yeah. <laughs> Luigi's Manch, play that. Play the play the Manch. <laughs> it's, it's a good. One. It's a good. One. Cool. Uh, Lee Griggs says if you had to make someone puke as quickly as possible which game would you convert to VR <laughs> um, oh god um, I mean they've already done um, that was it Trackmania yeah. yeah that was pretty bad I was going yeah, to say Wipeout but same joke like they've already done it it's... <laughs> but, but also Wipeout is yeah, actually yeah, but... quite good in VR it's, it's, it's yeah. quite solid apparently in terms of like, mm-hmm. sickness it is yeah um, it's great okay um, I mean, have you played the 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 uh, space station exploration thing, Matt? The what? Sorry, the, there's like a NASA game on the Quest where it's not a game; it's just you're in a space station and you're you're exploring like a real space station. Uh, no, basically, I, I watched some like like YouTube 360 stuff, but I haven't played like an actual game on that. No, no, that sounds great. Yeah, it's it's not a game. It's it's like it's, a, it's more like a museum piece or okay. something. Yeah, it's like a, right. a, an experience. But um, my word, does that turn your stomach when you're because you grab the environment and to propel yourself forward? Oh, nice! And like instantly, you're like, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> it's just like fucking, yeah, vom inducing. But uh, yeah, I'm just trying to think of something that that something's got really bad frame rate. Of course, <laughs> and, yeah, you know all that sort That's of. That's the shit. quickest way, isn't it? Um, yep. Yep. What well, I mean, Jedi Fallen Order would be a good start. Well, oh, I'd say uh, I'd say yeah, Link's yeah, Awakening would be on. even <laughs> even more so. <laughs> Link's Awakening. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Rob Adams says, "Dear team, uh, really interesting to hear you all uh, discussing game save states. I've just become a dad myself. Eight weeks now." Uh, and have all your advice to go on from past pods. So my gaming time is severely limited and interrupted by nappy changes and post-feed burping. What happened to games being convenient to play? Left 4 Dead 2, for example, had drop-in and drop-out co-op and 40-minute to one-hour levels, which even had safe break points for quick toilet breaks and drink top-ups. Online now demands one to two hours of solid play. There is no safe zone to have a toilet break in, no drop-in play for emergency nappy changes um, or whilst mum has to eat. And perhaps uh, worse, they demand so much time to get into, 10 hours, etc. before it gets good. E.g. Earth Defense Force 5, no drop in co-op despite it being a co-op game, risk of rain 2, 40 minute plus games. The games need a dad mode option, making you invincible or dropping you out of the match whilst life calls you back into the real world. Of course that is open, open to abuse, but games are supposed to be fun, so why would it only be an option for player versus enemy games where... Sorry, it would only be an option for player versus enemy games where everyone benefits. What do you think? I mean, you I need a switch, don't that you? That maybe, <laughs> right? Well, yeah. First off, you can't complain about being a dad in 2019 with gaming when the switch exists <laughs> because that is like, like insane. Yeah. Like I, I remember thinking when Breath of the Wild came out, 
Could you imagine being a new dad right now? This is like the ultimate. This is the ultimate. But that's not the what you're saying, is he? He's yeah. focusing on online, online gaming stuff, and which stuff. Which is fair enough. Like, you know, I've, I've said like Monster Hunter World, incredible game series I've loved for, for you know, years. Um, I mean, I've put like 120 hours into it, but relatively speaking, that is nothing. And that is entirely because Isaac turned up and you can't pause it. And that is it. That's that. That, that game was not getting played. Um, I probably could get back into it now. Um, but I just, yeah, totally fell off. Everyone I know plays it is like way ahead of me and just, yeah, didn't happen. So that was a shame. But Honestly, you want, you, this is going to sound like a weird one, mm-hmm. but Destiny yeah. is a really good game to play like that. You yes. can drop oh, in, drop out. Of course, you, can. you get punished for that. <clears throat> you get punished for that. Like yeah. you won't get your rewards if you don't make the end of the... But like the, the amount uh, of times, I mean, but, like Destiny was like massive of us when like when Eddie and, and, and Harry were both born. Like the amount of course, times... Yeah. You know, I, I had it where I had just had to like, you know, we had like a free man like uh, strike. Like I had to leave for like, oh, it'll just be five minutes, or oh, she's crying. I'm about at five, ten, half an hour. It's like, okay, I, I mean, you have to move on without me. I can't do this. And like, yeah, yeah, but that was fine yeah, though. We just did. Friends, we moved yeah. on without you. Yeah, I guess. And then, and, and not only that, it's you've got the patrol stuff, which you know is just so easy to just do. Like yeah. just wandering around and all that sort of stuff. It's yeah, it, I because I had it when I think Destiny One was out when Harry was a baby, yeah, and Destiny that was 1, just yeah. like great. Just sitting there and yeah, smashing through that was was great because uh, okay, it was online and sometimes I had to quit out early, but it you didn't. The only punishment you got is that you didn't get the loot at the end of it. Mm. It's not like the end of the world sort of punishment. No, I suppose me, I feel more bad because you guys are being held up because I was dealing with mm. like screaming child. Yeah, but you're gonna do that whatever you play. There's gonna like if the example we game gave was left for, left for dead. And, you know, you'd have exactly the same situation where you'd have to go, sorry, guys, I've got to go. You know, yeah, at least then you're not stuck in an online competitive match yeah. where you're, you know, you're like Rocket League. When it happens in Rocket League, it's like, I've got to go now. Oh, brilliant. So it's just me against these two guys. <laughs> otherwise, my rank goes down. That's great. Thanks, mate. I mean, I guess um, like, what you're suggesting. So, yeah, so taking the Destiny example, what if Matt could just like turn his character into a bot, essentially not like a good one. But one that basically means he's not, you know, it's not dead weight, but he's he's also, do you know what I mean? So he can disappear for like five, ten, and then come twenty back. minutes. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Yeah, no, no, I suppose that's right. They left for dead. Did like, that, like they'd it? never be but... good enough that they can just win it for you, but they'd just, yeah. I don't know. I think I think there's mm. there's space for that. Definitely, it's a good idea. Yeah, there is. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. But <laughs> it's the you know it's not the trend of gaming at the moment no. the trend of gaming is we're releasing a game and we're going to support it over the next three years and in order to for you to do that you have got to put in the fucking commitment yeah. so you won't want to switch to another game in that time yeah. um <laughs> so that's the trend of gaming at the moment is yeah. it's um yeah it's rare that you'll find a game aiming for anything but that yeah 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 speaking yeah, of left for dead specifically there's been loads of rumors today about left for dead uh vr mm. Oh, don't oh, fancy fuck that. Off. That'd be horrible. Just <laughs> give us Left for Dead free. Yeah. yeah. Fucking Left for Dead VR. Don't start bringing brilliant like franchises back out, but only in VR. Mm-hmm. Fuck. Yeah, I that. would not be up for that. That's awful. Nah, no. Fuck it. Uh, that's it for emails. Sorry, Matt. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> don't shoot the messenger, mate. <laughs> right, tweets. Yeah, let's get on with it. It's at Computer Gamble on Twitter if you want to tweet us. Um, uh, Rob at Rob underscore the underscore Toffee. Hi all, hope you're all well. Having been hugely disappointed in the outer worlds after looking forward to it for ages, are there any games you built up in your own heads to be severely let down by once you played? Thanks, Rob. Mafia 3 is my go-to answer for this. I loved Mafia 2. I thought it was fantastic. Mafia 3, I was proper pumped for. I played it. I was blown away thinking this is going to be the best thing ever. And then it shits the bed (laughs) big style to the point where I didn't want to play it. (laughs) Like I just went, no, that's it. I'm done. The more I play, the more disappointed I'm getting. So I'm, I'm fucking done. The opening to that game is incredible. Like the first hour to two hours is so good. Um, And then it just farts (laughs) like a really dirty fart. (laughs) And you're just done. Like, such a shame. I mean, yeah, obviously, I recently mentioned it, but yeah, Yoshi's Crafted World, I just was bored playing it. Like, I love the demo, thinking like, oh, well, this is just the first level. 
it'll get like a bit more difficult. It's just nah, like it, yeah, just really bored playing it and not you know not taken enough by the art style and the music and stuff to be like yeah, well do you know what it's easy, but who cares? Like it, it just did nothing for me. Shit, is that Andromeda up there as well? I know you enjoyed it, mm. but. We're talking Mass Effect, right? I mean, expectations for that were tempered in like the week before it came out, weren't they? Because everyone playing on the AXS was they like, were. "Oh fuck, it's fucked. It does. It's rubbish." <laughs> and as it happened, it wasn't dreadful, but yeah, I don't know. But yeah, I know what you mean. Like, certainly, yeah, the the overall arc of excitement for for Andromeda, yeah, certainly fell well short of the mark, didn't it? Yep, it certainly did. Yeah. James? Uh, maybe Sekiro? No, I'm joking. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. Uh, I don't know, because there isn't... Been, I mean, this year in particular, there hasn't been anything that I've been like massively hyped for that's coming out. Well, that's the point. That's the thing, isn't yeah, it? James, this I mean, year or any year? You, you need to thing. be... Yeah, you need to be hyped for this question to work. Yeah, and I don't and, uh... really get really hyped for stuff, to be honest. <laughs> Do you anticipate <laughs> anything, James, ever? How do you mean? Are you like, oh, really, I'm you know, really... You know, I'm I'm hugely anticipating this game. I'm excited for well, it. Well, I mean, I was looking forward to Shenmue Three, but I was also aware that it was not going to be like amazing. Is the is I I don't <laughs> Ow, that sounds like hype. Like, I'd already like tempered my expectations for it, so I've okay, been quite. Well, what's the last thing you haven't tempered your expectations for? Um, Pong. Oh, I just thought. Of course, Animal Crossing. Yeah, that's that is something I'd be hyped for. Definitely. Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean that that mm-hmm. I'm excited about, and I'm. I've got, yeah. I'm. I'm just generally excited. I'm. I'm not tempering my expectations for that because I think it's going to be great. So it's weird that you, you know, you play down your excitement for everything and you, you don't get carried away with the hype. Yet one of the most boring gaming experiences <laughs> you're all over. Well, they can't. They, they can't, can't wait. They can't go wrong, can they? It's fine. The turnips. The fucking turnips. Yeah. Uh, Okay. Fair, I was addicted to the old turn up game and I was at university. I, I hope Animal Crossing is good. Um, but yeah. My one is probably like Battlefield 4. I mean, yeah. Dave, you know how much we play Battlefield 3. And like, okay, yeah, Battlefield 3 was, it's an all timer. The amount of hours you spent on that, absolutely brilliant. There's a new one, it's on PS4. This is going to be unbelievable. I bought it digitally, which is usually a kiss of death for any game, really. <laughs> Um, yeah, and I was like, "Oh, this is broken!" And oh god, no one's playing it. And yeah, that was a real, that's a blow. Not necessarily just because of what the game was, because I'm sure if I stuck with it, I'm sure I would have really enjoyed it. But it's just everyone jumped off it because yeah, of the you issues. Di- you ditched it straight away, but I played it quite a bit after they'd patched it, and it was pretty good. But like the yeah, it was, it was, my yeah. word, it was also just it launched in born, such like, oh, a god. terrible fucking it's state. It's such a shame. I have thought yeah. of the game. That that this this happened and it was perfect dark mm. zero. <laughs> yeah, I oh yeah. shit, I thought yeah, it dude. was going to be good. I really did, and then yeah, it turned out to be not very good at all. Were you one of the ones that tried to convince yourself? Yeah, I because I wouldn't put it past you. Like when you got it, you were like, "This is yeah, this is brilliant," and then it took like a couple of days Are after launching before James you went. Actually, it's it's not... There's no convincing. There's the slightest hint. The slightest hint of blood. No, in no, the no, water. no, 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 no. Yeah, this shit. You want this shit? Yeah. No, this is no, no. This is different james we're talking old old school james yeah. uh he hasn't always been like this is what i'm saying <laughs> like I, I, I can imagine you playing perfect dark zero and going no nah, actually this i is did really try good. and like it i really did yeah for a couple and, of days uh, yeah, yeah then you're then. Like, actually this is this isn't great is it it's uh... what about black arrow rainbow oh, six yeah. is another one black yeah. arrow because we were so heavily into no, no, that it was, and black then arrow was really good that was the one that came out after that uh what was it called what was that oh, i forgot what it was called but it was really bad like it was I thought Black Arrow was the no, shit. No, no, one. there was Black Arrow was the really good one. There's Rainbow Six Three, and then there was Black Arrow, and Black Arrow was the one we played for like ages and ages and ages. Then what was the one afterwards? I can't remember what it was called. Fuck, I've totally forgotten. But it was it was really bad. Look it yeah, up. Yeah, I'm just having a look. Hang on. Uh, just Rainbow Six. Uh, right. Okay. Should we do the next uh, <laughs> yeah, question while he's looking at? Yeah. Up? Andy Godwin, that big cop man on Twitter. I'm currently back in love with Witcher Three on my PS4. I don't recall you guys talking about it at all. Uh, did you play it considering the amount of content plus the DLC is going to be hard to beat do you think Cyberpunk will live up to the hype next year so Witcher 3 I presume that came out actually before his pod started right or yeah I think it did in the gap between Joypod and this yeah maybe probably should we find out I, we've spoken about it a lot though we have spoken about it because I, I played I got it on my on the X and then I'm sure 
one of uh, James... yeah, but you, you only played it for about ten minutes. Though, didn't you? <laughs> it's like five hours. Uh, it came out on the nineteenth of May, twenty fifteen. Yeah, so, so yeah. just before this baby, yeah, entered the world. It's a good game though. DLC is amazing. Yeah, no, I think I, I might have it. talked about because I played the DLC quite late, um, even the first one. I think I might have talked about that on this show. Um, but yeah, really like that. James James talks about starting the uh, Switch version. I hate but... it. <laughs> Yep. Um. I yeah. But he said no fault of the game. It was yeah. It was just, you know, yeah, it was the it's port. just a yeah. bad port. Yeah, yeah. Um. I, I still stand by the fact that I don't think the combat is very good. Oh in yeah, that it's game. it's fluffy to say the least. Yep. It is fluffy, and there was some fighting sections. It was that little dude that you're, the one that sticks out is the guy that you fight in the cave, and it was like a puzzle. You had to get into bubbles, oh, like to yeah. avoid his attacks and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awful fight. Awful. Um. <laughs> And there was also one with a big werewolf around a tree or some shit. I can't remember, but that wound me up as well. Although I think I was a bit under um, stat. Like my stats were too low for that fight. Yeah. Uh, but I just kept going back to it anyway. <laughs> uh, I, mean, oh, I remember little th- weird things about that game every now and then. The sisters oh, yeah. in the swamp. Yeah, man. Jesus Christ. Yeah, horrific. Stuff of nightmares. Uh, um, I was just going to say in terms of cyberpunk, I mean, certainly if anyone can do it, it's it's them. Um, because the amount of just the amount of stuff that was in Witcher Three, and none of it felt like an afterthought. None of it felt like unpolished or you know, combat aside. Uh, but do you know what I mean in terms of the amount of content in it? Yeah. Like because it, it's with Cyberpunk, it's the sheer scale of it that that worries me. But but yeah, if anyone can do it, it's, it's you know it's either CD Projekt Red or Rockstar. So. <laughs> right. Yeah, the 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 um the setting obviously I'm more way more interested in the setting than I am with yeah. fantasy stuff. Mm. So, you know, that's already got a big plus for me. It's got guns in it. Yes. Remember that guy on Games Boss? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's got guns in it. Patreon.com forward slash TGS. Yeah. yeah. Um, James, did you get the name of that game? It was Rainbow Six Lockdown. Lockdown, yeah, okay. that was it. Lockdown. Yeah, fucking terrible. Yeah. <laughs> that was awful. That was like... Heartbreaking. It was, wasn't yeah, because we were we were really excited for that because Black Arrow had been brilliant, and uh, yeah, it was it was all no. it was a good one. Thomas at uh, Lama Forty Two. Twenty nineteen is a year of evolution. Dave turned into a Star Wars nerd uh, with glasses. Matt became a prolific completer of games. Guilty. <laughs> Sean and Brees embraced his wacky slash comedic side of crab suit and bad Santa. <laughs> Why hasn't James changed? Time to shed that grumpy old man shtick and start breakdancing with joy. No, I'm alright. James has got glasses as well now. I have, yeah. Yes. It's true. But he was already a nerd, uh, so that didn't really count. Yeah, it's, it's double yeah, nerd exactly. now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know, when he, 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 when he announced it to us, he was like, hey, Star Calls has turned me into <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> bloody like Star that, Calls. I was like, <laughs> we were all like, yeah, it has, hasn't it, James? Like, secretly, yeah. we were like, a little bit late for that. <laughs> <you're being nerd." laughs> what, did you do Star Calls 20 years prior to this? <laughs> or? Um, uh, was he, has James had a, a an arc this year? It's been happened? a very steady, you know, arc that hasn't moved. It's just been a straight line. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think you've had? How do you feel about that, year, James? James? Not really. I've been, I think, <laughs> it's been going on, isn't it? James, do I you mean, want an arc? Go on, James. Sorry, you cut out there, Matt. Do you want an arc, James? No, I'm fine. I'm absolutely well, I was going to say because to be fair, James is the oldest, right? Yeah. So maybe he's done arcing. This is it now. This is just. I know. I'm. I'm pretty set in my ways now with everything. Yeah. It's not. Things are not going to change. I'm yeah. not sure he's, I want he's to risen, be done with arcing. And now he's spent. He's fallen again. <laughs> he's, James, is saying, he, James is only like 15 years older than me. I'm not sure if I want to be off, done with. <laughs> 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 he has he has um I have noticed on on Twitter, I don't know if you've noticed, that he's suddenly thought my thing are gifts. Yeah, yeah, I love so doing gifs. So that's what I'm doing yeah. now. Like yeah. that this year, that has been his big it's thing. It's very disconcerting gift, when James man. does a gif. I'm like, oh, why? <laughs> see, that, that is why I love doing it. You see, I, I'll be honest, the primary reason I do this is because I know that when Matt sees them, he's going to be like, oh, that's really old. That's not really out of date. <laughs> <laughs> like, it does make me feel like it's like you've just discovered yeah, them. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what I'm doing. It's really like, weird. granddad's got WhatsApp now. Yeah. He's found the gif button. <laughs> <laughs> So no one uh, uses that one anymore. Future exercise. You know, what's your favourite Christmas nibble slash drink that you ignore for the rest of the year? 
Oh, twiglets. Really? What? They're amazing uh, all year round, mate. But I don't have them all year round. I never have twiglets like throughout the year. But Christmas, those are oh, those big pots that they do. Whoever come up oh, with well, that? the ones with the red top. The ones the with circular, the red top. Oh, with the yeah. film with the film yeah, thing that, that you pull good, back. That's good shit, yeah. <laughs> I want, I want, I want, like I want, I want, eight yeah. twiglet. <laughs> I want, I want, I want yeah. <laughs> eight twiglet pots and a couple of those cheese lit ones, and uh, yeah, I'm set That's for Christmas life. Day sorted. It is good. That shit is good. Also, I never have assorted biscuits on those trays. You know those yeah, trays yeah, yeah. where like you, I never have them over any other time other than Christmas. <laughs> But then I smash through them at Christmas, you know. <laughs> like, why would you? Why would you get random biscuits like that? Just get the ones, ones you want. Yeah. Do, you, do you mean like a selection yeah. box type thing? I was going to say selection yeah, box. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's always a good show. Yeah, like, they like selection. I mean, box, they're yeah. bullshit. And, like, yeah, of course. But, I are. Yeah, I do love them. At Christmas, you do it. Yeah, don't you? yeah. you do it. Oh, you do it, boy. But you no, Twiglets is the one for me. That is, yeah, I. Fucking smash that shit over Christmas. See, there's there's one thing I really look forward to, but I don't think it's available outside of Christmas, so I don't know if it counts. Um, but Lidl sell um like little bags of these biscuits called Speculatius, which are like sort of German Christmas. Oh, are biscuits. they the, the slightly spiced ones? Yes, yes, they're um, so I fucking good, man. I can just. I mean, they're not just them. Lidl, but yeah, I, yeah, they're everywhere. Yeah, they're good. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, little do perfect. I like the sound of them. Man, they're so good. They're just like a bit cinnamony, bit gingery. Yeah. Um, and yeah, they're just fucking. I just inhale a lot of them. It's ridiculous. James? He's on James. mute. He's I on, was mute. on mute. I was on mute. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? Fucking hell, James. Every week. I, know. Every it, fucking I don't know how week. this happens, right? Because I just thought, okay, I've got a second here. How do you not know how this happens? How do you not <laughs> know it happens? <laughs> right, we've been talking, right? And I thought, yeah, I've got a few seconds yes, now podcast work. where I can like pour out a drink right. and it won't. I can just mute it while I'm doing that. I thought, you're still talking. You're not going to go to me like at this point. It's going to be <laughs> fine. And it, every time it happens, it's it's really annoying. So say, so say, if that happens, right? You say, okay, I think I've picked a perfect moment to that, and then we call you out, yeah, right, and we go, James, and then you go, oh fuck, no, I'm on mute, or oh, no, then like the week later, you might go, okay, maybe I shouldn't just go on mute this time, maybe I'll, actually, I think I can get away with it. Oh no, they've called my name again, I've fucked it again. Then the week after that, right, we're up to like the third week in January now. Right, in this story that I'm telling, every fucking week, all the way up to December, and you're still doing it. You're still doing it. I'm not going to stop doing it either. <laughs> it's like, it's going to keep happening. So all I'm saying is get used to it. We need to fi- we need to find him. Can we find him Patreon money? Yeah, try. Oh, that. We have to get. We have to give the charity. What do you mean? Try that. Is it? It's, it, it's really easy to do, James. Yeah, I mean, Matt, Matt holds the purse. So yeah, do, do, do you know? Do you know the PayPal password, James? I do actually. It's probably on that spreadsheet. Too fast. Uh, edit, no, edit. Is it not? Okay. <laughs> no, I've changed it since then. No, we no, trust. No. We trust Matt with everything. It's like yeah. I know we do. everything. We changed. See, we have box your ideas up. Son. <laughs> <laughs> but but I mean, a five pound fine for him not unmuting his bike minimum during the show. I think. I think that sounds about right. A five pound fine. Five pound fine. Five pound fine. Okay, hundred pound fine. Right. Okay. Um, Next question. Five hundred. Yeah. Um, Phil Wall. Oh, actually, before we move oh, on, right? No, because we, we actually went to James. What? What oh, snack? Bloody hell! <laughs> <I think laughs> really with that. <laughs> <laughs> what snack? What snack? Uh, probably a drink. It'll be like regular Coca Cola because I don't drink it the rest of the year, <laughs> and I look forward <laughs> to it at That's Christmas. It. That's it. That's it. Like you know, I'm going to go mental this Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> Same drink, but the red version. Yeah, I'll have a Coca Cola. I look forward please. to the sugar. You know, it's like you know, you don't oh, get that full fat. Oh, don't mind if I do. Hello yeah. there. <laughs> I've. I tell you what, I've got a weird relationship with mince pies. Really. <laughs> what, yeah, it's they, they go in. No, they go. <laughs> a full six pack gone. It's, no, it's weird. It's like. Someone comes up to me over Christmas and goes, do you want a mince pie? I always go, no, and I don't want one. But then I end up having one at one point and think, why have I not been eating these the whole yeah. time? Like, it's, I never fancy a mince pie. You're joking, but whenever you? I have so one, nice. I like the mince pie. Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. Have it's you, just this um, weird thing about Have brain. you tried puff pastry mince pies? Ooh. Yeah, they're crap. Oh, no, I fucking love them. I mean, Depends, I love all times, but, yeah. I'm a big fan. much rather them have icing on top than puff pastry ones. Well, because uh, we... I've well. yeah. <laughs> ever told you we have Overrated. a... Overrated. We have a mince pie matrix. 
What? I'm sorry, what? It's basically sort Mental of like... Matrix board. or what? So everyone wears sort of those long trench coats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <Mint pies. laughs> they, they chuck at me. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. Dodge like a like, like, glasses that are the pies now. So the pies fly past. Uh, the no, pie it's... Or the blue oh, pie. Oh, yeah. Oh, who's the oracle of the pies? <laughs> uh, no, it's just a fancy <laughs> oh, name you're for... you're the one, Sean. Sure, no. <laughs> It's a fancy name for a chart on the wall with all different <laughs> brands, and there, we have to rate all the mince pies according to um, different criteria. Fucking hell, calm down, mate. So, that's, that's I know, sounds like a lot really of fun. Just, the, um, just an example of the sort of yeah. laughs we have around here. <laughs> Can I <have> someone, <laughs> one, big, big Billy Bass, please? What, what, um, what, Take out petty cash. What, yeah, because sometimes they can get a bit, uh, you know. Um, yeah. What normally wins in, in that? Because uh, is it like Do you a, know what it always pisses me off? Is because like Aldi always wins, and I don't think it's because they're the best. I think it's because ev- you know there's this weird sort of inverse snobbery yeah, yeah. when it comes to Aldi. So you like, don't do you know that, what? Do you? Actually, actually, I think Aldi's the best. Actually, and it's like, uh, yeah. The I mean, f- I wouldn't shop there. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but actually, not, not Susan. Everyone's, not everyone's you've said that every enough. year for the last five years, Susan. So <laughs> it's not a surprise, is it? <laughs> not everyone's rich enough also, to shop Matt- in shop at the time like you, Sean. It's you know. You what, sorry, I mean, that, sorry. Uh, your voice went weird when you said that. Really? Okay. That's just his voice. Okay. Okay. It was a crap joke, but anyway, just move on. Oh, I'm sorry. M- Matt, you can't ever go about Sean talking about his mince pie thing that he does at work. <laughs> because not. on stream the other night, you went, well, at work every Monday, we all get together and we draw a little uh, picture and then we all vote. It's not on every Monday, it's, it's every morning. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see Colin Ross Wilson? <laughs> Did you see this, no. Sean? <laughs> Matt was then in the story about it's every morning, is it? Uh, yeah, if we if we got time and we can remember, yeah, they do they do a art competition where they all draw oh, well, something we won't that, following but... a theme, and then they had to vote on like they all vote on who's the best God, uh, drawing awful. or whatever. Right. And Colin Ross Wilson put in the chat, "When I go to work, I work." <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but he's not one to talk because no one actually knows where he actually works. And believe me, we've been investigating every single Sunday for the last few weeks. Wait, hold on. <laughs> no one needs to know where he works. He's a listener. <laughs> <laughs> no, but no, well, honestly, like two, two or three weeks ago. He can't talk because he does, we don't know where he works. Two or three weeks ago, we actually <laughs> stopped the stream for everyone to like, have guessing games. Okay, yes or no answers. Okay, is it a you know, is, is great stream? Um, I'm, sh- I'm sure someone knows who Colin Ross Wilson is in real life. Just email. Yeah, it is a hologram. Let us know where a hologram. Works. We'll announce it. <laughs> My answer is Tafifi. Uh, Phil Wall. Um, <laughs> what is the best new game mechanic you've come across this year? Oh, um, I oh shit! And this was a game that almost made my list. Um, the painting in uh, uh, a Concrete Genie. Oh yeah, that was great, man. That was really good. Um. Yeah, all that stuff like uh, create, like drawing your companion and them coming to life. Mm. Fuck, maybe that should have made my list. It was on there, but really, I mean, I didn't. I, think I don't I'm, remember I think you I being it, like I too. I thought you were pretty lukewarm fired up about it. Mm. Yeah. No, I, I, I. It certainly had um, some issues. Uh, there's no doubt about it. But I, I mean, it, the the experience certainly stuck out in my head. Mm. Uh, I mean, I, I think if you go back and listen to me talking about it, I was very positive okay. about it. Um, I think Baba is You is probably got to be yeah. up there, like rewiring the game's mechanics by moving objects around in the world. It's just, yeah, fascinating. That was pretty Didn't good. Didn't make the list because um, I'm just too stupid to really enjoy it. <laughs> but it's, yeah, fucking smart game. A certain power up in Luigi's Manch. Uh... Ooh. There's actually been loads. I mean, whether they're like new specifically. I mean, what the golf was just really, really great because it's all the same mm. mechanic for loads of different. You know, it, it mixed it up, which I really enjoyed. Yeah. I thought the. Uh, I wouldn't put that. I thought, in I thought the uh, yeah. using the rats in uh, a plague tale was really, really brilliant. Did you play that, James? In the end? Uh, no, I didn't. It's uh, it's on my oh, what on my wish list, but I've not. Yeah, I've not played it yet. Yeah. Anyway. Um, Using the rats in that. Uh, Outer Wilds, 22 minute, like, you know, mechanic. I mean, there's yeah. loads of whether they like. I mean, a few years ago, when um, that Mordor game came out, you know, the one with like, the oh, yeah, system, Shadows of Mordor, yeah. And then was like, everyone's going to copy that. Everyone's going to copy that. that. No one really did, did they? No, no, it's weird. Which is a surprise. And I've, I've, there were rumors, and I don't know if this is legit or if it's just because it felt like it was missing from that game but you know the mad max game that came out in like 2015 2016 really good but yeah like 
it really felt like that system was supposed to be in it. And I think it was like the same publisher or something. So everyone was like, oh man, this is definitely meant to have the Nemesis system in it. Um, and it would have been really cool. But yeah, I, mean, I don't know if maybe it's just a nightmare to implement. Um, wouldn't surprise Possibly, me. Possibly, yeah. But, yeah. Two, um, two of my favorite ones that stick out are actually in one game in the Red Strings Club where oh, yeah. you, you where you make drinks. And it was a bit fiddly on the Switch, but <laughs> that was quite interesting yeah. using the, like, the cursor to make certain concoctions of drinks and, and mm. that would like change like how you could talk to certain people in the bar. Or yeah. in, in that same game, you also it was really satisfying. You had this option of like uh, in one section to... Uh, I think like create like the Android body of people that were coming into the the shop. Does that ring a bell, Dave? I can't actually remember oh, you're, what you're, you're doing. You're building but... the um the implants for them, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, you're building the implants, yeah. yeah. And you're basically doing it on like a pottery wheel type thing. Yeah. And that, that was really satisfying because the implants you had, you had a sort of a triangular one to get like some nice angles. You had, oh, like, yeah. Why are you asking me? I I, I didn't play this what, game. Red Strings Club. No, didn't you? Oh, mate, it's it's really good. Yeah, this we oh, I we you loved that. We like, three we played did. it because it was before Dave yeah. came oh, back. Oh, right, yeah, he wasn't there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, this, yeah, brilliant. We well, free it's, play. It's annoying. We free play. <laughs> it's annoying though, isn't it? Because that, that came out last year, didn't it? Because that, that would have been yeah. on my list. Yeah, it was excellent. It, it yeah, been, 100%. It was I, was, I meant to ask, yeah, did anyone have any games from like previous years that they've played this year that they absolutely loved? Because I, obviously, this is the oh, year gosh, I yeah. finally got Shovel Knight. Um, and Wonder Song as well is absolutely incredible, but didn't come out this year. So. Uh, for me, Bloodborne. Yeah. Um, was yeah. fantastic, but that was obviously well old. Mm. Alex Kidd in Miracle World. <laughs> well, they got that clock. Rocket League uh, is up there yeah. for me. Um, if we were allowed to nominate that every year, then that's that's exactly what I want to do. Another game um, I loved, but it, it wasn't enough. Was like Telling Lies. That was that was shit, such a yeah. great I, I've unique game. Not played it yet. Um, but the, but again, I like I, so I played, um, yeah, her story this year, and I was like, hey, everyone was right four years ago when they said this God, was amazing. Man, so good. So yeah, you should play. Telling yeah, lies, I didn't get on with telling lies. But in terms of mechanics that have been introduced this year, uh, the honk button <laughs> on Untitled <laughs> Goose Game is up there. Yeah. It's fucking up there. <laughs> I, it's either between that or the flap your wings one. Which the flap your wings one? There's only one thing yeah. in that game. Where you need it. I was going to say, there wasn't like, enough opportunity. The was rest there, really? of it is. Well, no, yeah, but that was the point of it. It didn't matter. Like, it just looks really good to just waddle up to someone and flap your wings. It didn't make any difference, but it just looked fucking incredible. <laughs> Man, that game. That fucking game. Right. Cool. <laughs> That's it for tweets. Woo. Cool. So, I mean, we're slightly under two hours this week. It's crazy. Well, hang on. Matt's got to do the outro yet. Yeah. Oh. oh, yeah. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> silly Strap off. in, boys. And it's the last one of the year. Oh, my God. Yeah. Let's get on with it. Streaming. Uh, James, are you streaming on Friday? Uh, yes. Yeah. But what? Uh, brilliant. Well, James is streaming LA Noir, the VR case files, this Friday night from nine on twitch.tv slash computer game show. Um, I am not here on Sunday because we're all recording the game of the year show. So I'm going to stream Sekiro on Saturday uh, from half past eight. Um, and Ash, I wanted to ask you guys this off, off air, but we'll do it now. Fuck it. Like... Yeah. Um, are you streaming on Tuesday, Sean? Technically, that's after the game of the year. Like, is that, oh yeah, is it yeah. Like holiday time now? Or yeah, no, absolutely. Doing? Well, I can't not, can I? Because it's a Christmas. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so that's the seventeenth, right? Yeah, it'd be a bit weird to be like, oh, I'm doing a series of Christmas streams. The last one is on the tenth of December. Yeah, good day to you. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, cool. Yeah, so, no, totally. yeah. So James Friday, me Saturday, and Sean on Tuesday. That's all on ComputerGameShow.com. Uh, no, it's not. It's on uh, Twitch.tv slash ComputerGameShow. Uh, if you want to watch shows, uh, streams, uh, not live, you missed them live, you want to watch them again, we're on our YouTube channel. Just search for TCGS on YouTube. Um, I'll be streaming. Oh, yeah, but are you streaming? Well, stream, James, uh, David was streaming one day as well. Any? Just something. <laughs> Mate, I don't know, but I will be streaming a lot, I think. Um, because obviously we're not doing the show anymore. Uh, uh, well, I was going to say, <laughs> fucking up. We're not. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what a way to tell us, Jesus. We, uh, we got we got the game of the year thing done on Sunday, and um, I may not stream this week, although I really want to. So if I get the chance, I will jump on the stream to do some more Shenmue. But um, uh, yeah, no. After that, I mean, it's, I I'm not taking a holiday as such i'll be trying to stream as much shenmue as possible because i'm really enjoying it and i'm really enjoying our streams as well because mm. it's i really like the laid back nature of the chat when i stream it's great it's nice isn't it so yeah i'll i'll be back on soon 
Sweet. So we'll all be doing loads of streams. Yeah, if you miss them live, you can watch them on YouTube. If you've got Amazon Prime, uh, you also have Twitch Prime. And with that, you get one free subscription every single month. And we'd really appreciate it if we went over to our channel and gave us that free sub. It really makes a huge difference. And uh, and, 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 and we love seeing it. If you do it when, you're, when we're streaming live, you, you get a shout out. Uh, so, so yeah, if you go over to our channel, do that. We'd love that. We're also on Patreon patreon.com slash tcgs uh, there's exclusive podcasts there's um the talks over which will be out next week um the christmas uh, podcast is out now um by the time you hear this and it's computergameshow.com for everything else next week friendships will be formed <laughs> enemies will be made it is uh it's about as tense as it gets <laughs> and fucking me does it get tense <laughs> i'm gonna fuck someone up Game of the year. I'm going to fuck someone up. Is that what you're going with, Matt? Yeah. You you're not going into this next week's show in good shape. I <laughs> I don't think you realise what you've done today. <laughs> we'll catch you next week. Uh, thanks for living it. Goodbye. It's alright. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.